Yes, welcome, welcome to our season preview for our spring 24 league. To my left, we got my man Shabron. How you doing, my guy? Doing good. Doing good. good. We got to my right, we got Mr. People's Man of the People's Cortez Peoples. How you feeling? Doing good. Doing good. And then what we say, we got your uh, man's in the sky, the dove from the above. Eyes in the sky, your black dove from above, <laughs> Trey Deuce, man. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? <laughs> what up, man? What up? But here we are, another preview. Another year, last year or last season, it was me and Cortez, um, and we had Shabron and Trey. You know, I think you all were just watching, like y'all in the background, just watching for that time. So now it's good for them to actually join us this time around. We got a decent amount of guys on board, a lot of guys that have been watching pretty much every game, know a lot of these players, very knowledgeable. If you are NK1, you know these guys. Um, hopefully you get to know us, but we are going to start with rosters. Okay, so the first team where that's up is the 76ers. Um, they had Rookie of the Year, uh, Brandon Barry on their team, undeniable, uh, easily probably the, the best scorer uh, last bucket. season, um, definitely a bucket. Um, but they have him, D'Angelo Sanders returns, Donald Ellis returns, uh, Farrah Johnson moves from the Bucks over to them. To the Sixers, you have John Martin who moves from the Spurs over to the Sixers. Uh, Josh Washington is back again. They brought back Miles Bergens, who was the Rookie of the Year I remember Miles. two seasons ago. I um, so Washington. to have two back-to-back Rookie of the Years play with each other, and both of those guys are just walking buckets. That's that's different. And Roger Bray returns as well. And you have a new face. That's Emmanuel Huggins. I played with him um, in open runs, like with the Sixers. I want to say that that's Miles' younger brother. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's Miles' younger brother. I like his game a lot. Like, playing with him, he what he does is what 100% will help this team and what they need on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. A guy that can get blocks, rebounds, that can still make open shots, still uh, very unselfish set screens. Mm-hmm. You know, think like the very important things that glues teams together. Like, another Josh Washington would probably just a little better offensively, you know. Um, but no, I like I like this roster a lot. Uh, Cortez, how you feel about the roster? Are you coming straight to me? All right, so yeah. <laughs> listen, Philly is going to be at that top half of the standings this year, between one and five. Mm. Um, they so when when you look at teams, you have to look at the dynamic and the shape of the team. You have the two. Paz, Rookie of the Years, and Miles, and Brandon. Those two players are unselfish players. So they want to get the team involved. And they know when to score, how to score. They can get to the basket whenever they want to get to the basket. So when you have those two, and then you have individuals like Farah that knows his role. I'm just out here to hustle. I'm out here to play defense. I'm out here to do all the dirty work. Then you got players like John Martin. Hey, I'm just out here to set good screens, roll, roll. Um, do my See little, you. do my little sweet stuff in the inside when when they need me to. They, you have legit role players to complement these two super. These are superstars. These ain't just stars. These are two superstars on the team with a lot of role players that know what they supposed to, that that will know what they supposed yeah, to dynamic do. dynamic is great. And Jonathan Towson have already shown, because even last year, they, they played better last year. They're going to be even better this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Defensively. This, this is a defensive team. Like Walter said, I've seen Emmanuel, Farah. John, John is a... He's a body. He's a, is a, a definitely big body. He knows how to play his position. Mikael Clark, defensive player. Mm-hmm. Um, Roger Bray, D'Angelo, these these guys are going to buy in because they know they're playing with individuals that's going to give them times when they can score too. Like, they're not going to be unselfish. If they see them out open, they're going to give it to them. They're not going to be like, oh, no, I ain't going to give it to them. Let me take No, they're going to work together. This like Sixers team is, is, is tough. And the Sixers are red this year, I believe. Yep. Oh, by the way, they I saw these jerseys. The jerseys. Ooh. I need one every game. I'm not telling you. Know I'm you not saying they do they nothing. Y'all don't have to see it when y'all see it. I'm going to have to get one. Whoa. <laughs> these jerseys are tough. Y'all 
bogus y'all. It's one. It's two. It's, it's two of them that's so tough. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me which one. The uh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's the uh, I can't. I we you got too just many. Just click on the team real quick. Nah, just click on the team real quick. These jerseys is fire. Yep. Uh huh. These jerseys are fire. Okay. And where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? And these jerseys are fire. Yeah. I heard about them. I heard about. Wait until y'all see them. They are too. They are too. Yeah, no, they're they're the second team. I heard heard about. I heard. There's our two. And the only thing I'm gonna say is that's gold now. Mm. That's gold now. Mm. They should have, but. (laughs) <laughs> man, yeah, we gonna continue, man. They gonna find out when they find out. You know what I'm oh, saying? Anyway, man. so yeah, but until Sunday, until, until Sunday. Sunday, y'all until got Sunday. To, y'all got a week. So, Mr. Deuce, how you feel about this team? Man? Uh, I'm piggying back on Mr. Peoples. Um, Farrar and John was a great pickup. I don't know if y'all seen me um, interacting with them last season, but. John was one of my favorite big men. Yeah. He was he was one of them guys who Jay Mark. I just always loved seeing on the court. You know what I'm saying? He was just that big dude. He he didn't get mad. You know what I'm saying? Like he got frustrated, but he didn't get mad because he didn't want the game. He didn't want his emotions carrying off that game. But like you said, these are great. Same with Farrah. Farrah might get frustrated off something, but they never those two people never let their emotions um, get the best of them, get the best of them mm-hmm. and affect a game. You know, what that's I'm good. I, I didn't seen that. I didn't seen that one game where John had four fouls in the first half, and they sat him, and he was just like, he he got mad because he was just like, man, d- y'all tripping. But as soon as he sat down, it was just like, all right, y'all, I'm ready to go back in. Like in the day, like I'm ready when y'all ready. And when he did come back in, he played. He dropped another eight points, and then they took him out. Um, great rebounders, both of them. Great rebounder, yeah. For for Rod, got he got man's got springs in his legs, mm-hmm. like it's crazy. And I really, I think this is the team where that is gonna be needed the most. Yeah, like you sure. said, this is a defensive team. This is a great defensive team. Two facts: this was a top three rebounding team in the league, and Imagine. this yes. Black. So crazy. They're number one so, now. Yeah, yeah, no, they're, no, that's that's it's what I'm saying. Automatic. They were a top three it's rebounding automatic. team last year, and and they also had the the smallest positive point differential. So, it goes so, and it goes to back. So like so so like said. so every game that they played was within like two points. Mm-hmm. Easily, every game, every Easily. game they, they played was within two points. They didn't have nothing to get them over the hump. They got it now. They, do, you, do you know Miles Bird? Yeah, that's yeah, I know Miles. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm, I I know Miles. No, no, Miles, Bro. Bro. Miles is nice. I know <laughs> Miles is nice. Same with D'Angelo. I, I, I seen. He's even playing. been playing better. This, I don't care who y'all got. Stop playing with the 76s. <laughs> and I'm and I'm being for real because I said it before we hit that live button. I'm not even playing devil's advocate anymore. I'm <laughs> gonna be. I'm going to be serious with y'all. This team is something y'all gonna nice. tread lightly on, and they go stump on y'all. When y'all hit me on that, on that, on that, on that live for YouTube, saying cookies is gonna be with this team a lot. You wanna know something, Trey? They know. They know. They know burning. No, they, they, they know. They know. They know that. And, and the crazy, but this is the thing. One thing I. People may know, be nasty. <laughs> and one thing I always say, you may know, you can know all you want to, but it's let's see if you go try them first. And these players go try it, they go try. Oh, we 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 whooped them let. Yeah, right. John go come and do y'all some numbers. Mm-hmm. Miles go come and give y'all. We ain't got to talk about Brandon. He showed y'all what was up last season. And JT still can hoop. It's not like JT a scrub. You and know, we, like and then that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. These like, people, these people that we're talking about are gonna show y'all that, like you said. And I'm not giving them five. I'm not giving them five. He said they gonna be the top. Gonna be within that's that top five. five. So that's what I said. Gonna... Me personally, looking at who got. I'm giving them the three four slot right off rip. You getting them a buy? You getting them a first week buy? I'm what? <laughs> first brown buy? What? All right, Bron, what you got about this team, man? I love the improvement of this team. Mm-hmm. And like last season, 
I don't think they was necessarily slept on last season because I, as a person, I called every game for them every, every week. Okay. They was winning in the first half. They would just, just have a problem closing. And they, the dishes they added now can definitely get them over the hump to actually close out the games. Because it was, like you said, that point differential on two points. They would just come down to just last-minute shots or going. They had they be gassed. Yeah, they would yeah. be gassed. That's all. If, J, if JT has to be your main scorer down there and he gassed, Mm-hmm. I, it, it's up. And you know what I'm saying. An extra score to help to help Brandon and JT out when J, when JT would would be would end up missing or mm-hmm. getting consistent. And, and Brandon getting, getting double. Yep. You can't double. You can't double. You can't double. Even even Emmanuel. Yeah. You can't. No, I you see, can't I see double. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. No, it, he's nice. He's nice. I, I I went to an open run with them and was hoping. He's nice. They these this team is is gonna be really good and they competitive too. They competitive, but I hear you to your points. The open runs. I went to a couple. I only went to one. All right, guys. The next team we have is the Bucks. Um, we have returners: Barrick Olden, Tristan Swartz, um, Evan Johnson, Cameron Davis, and Caleb Johnson. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Cameron Davis is returning, but he's not. Uh, he's coming from a different team. Cameron Davis just came from the Heat. Nathan Yaki, another addition, uh, which is huge for them. I, uh, <laughs> Nathan Yaki, I think, is a huge addition for this Bucks team um, to go along with Barry. Barrick and, and Yaki is going to be another walk. That's that's going to be something crazy. Um, and then they got Zach Olson, who is a bigger guy. I think I played with him at Olivet before. Mm-hmm. Um, he's really tall guy. I think he's like, about like six, about eight. six eight. Yeah, shooter can shoot the ball for sure. He always calls glass from the corner. <laughs> so I guess Tyree not gonna be the only one taking that shot no more. Right. Uh, but adding Cameron Davis, a defensive presence in there. Ben Green. For those who don't know, Ben Green is brother of Chris Green, who was our league's leading scorer at one point. Uh, probably maybe three seasons ago, he won three championships, I believe, with the Spurs. Um. Yeah, Chris Green is official. He I think he holds the high school record for points per game. Yeah, Trinity. Yeah, yeah Trinity. Yeah, he he holds the points per game record in Illinois, like the state of Illinois. So he's really a bucket. His brother Ben Green is a bucket as well. He plays a lot. He's a probably a better defender, not the scorer that he is, but Ben can shoot the ball, get to the basket. He's strong, uh, a little more athletic. You know what I'm saying? Like he's. He's definitely somebody that can get 21, like about 20 points without a play being drawn up for him. Just from being in the right spot, right time, you know what I'm saying? Transition, you know, getting the, ball, the smart guy passes the ball well too. Um, I'm not familiar with the guard that they said that came from Olivet. Um, I've heard about him a lot. Landon is Landon. Landon Flatterer. Flatterer, yeah. Well, I, I've heard that he's that he's really good. Anywhere. Anyone on the court. Don't get me scared. About Tyree? Look, about don't Tyree? get me scared. You talking about Tyree? He, he do the same thing. Oh, man. And he can he can control the game. He playing out of it right now. That's why they so good right now. He they point guard. They starting point guard. All American. All four years. He been at Olivet. It's gonna be a sight to see. Look like I'm finna have to put get do some defensive slides with some weights or something. <laughs> get that parachute uh, out real quick. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I'm I don't care. Suicide. And he done like he done now. So he done with well they'll be done because he's not gonna play like the first. That's what I heard. He's not gonna play the first few but weeks. after this season. He done. So he he ain't going nowhere. So he he, he, he said, said he coming. He's coming. He said he coming. And he I said, can't wait to see doors are open for you, my boy. The door. Gonna be what, season, so he's gonna be ready. To go. He's gonna be ready. <laughs> Look, and shape gotta, everything. What they say, the doors of the church is open. So we will be waiting for. Dang, he's gonna be in season shape too. That's nuts. But hey, that's that's good for the league, though. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Um, I like this roster personally. I think that they meshes together well. I think that um, they have a lot of guys that can get buckets though. And I think that somebody is gonna have to sacrifice something. That Cam and that uh, is the only that thing. That Cam and Nathan duo. Yeah. And, and yeah. putting that up next with Tristan, I'm not gonna lie. To Trist- you. Tristan is probably that gonna is have to, gonna be a nice little mid card trio. Tristan's gonna gonna probably end up being more of like a two way playmaker for this team. Like, cause you got when you got some. First of all, Caleb Johnson arguably is one of the best. Is 
top three shooters in this league. If we being honest, as, as far as consistency, I don't see consistency. Him miss, I don't sure, see when, I don't, consistency, I don't, consistency. I don't, consistency. Yeah, I don't see him miss much. I don't consistency. Don't see him miss much. Yes, he don't. He really don't miss. Yeah, he, he doesn't. I, he don't take a lot of shots, but when he does shoot, he he, he shoots good shots. Honestly, he's look, at, look at the stat cards for all the players on the Bucks. Like during the game when they was, it seemed like they were missing a lot. But you look at the stat card, they, they oh, weren't really they shooting. Was, they, they was 40, 50 percent shooters for the three point line. Like, yeah, they, Tristan they, shot well. Uh, and, even even Yaki for the Heat shot well. Mm-hmm. And I think I talked about that last season. Um, their shot percentage came from how well they controlled that tempo of the game. And mm-hmm. I remember, mm-hmm. I remember, I remember, because I, I'm, and I, and I, and the reason why I say I remember is because I told them this personally. When the Bucks played the Spurs, this is when they lost their first game. They went eight and one. I told Poudinil, I said, y'all better watch out. They said, what? I said, this is not a team y'all think y'all finna run up and down the court. I said, once either Tristan or um, Watson get the ball. Wally, mm-hmm. I said, these are slow people. And I'm not even talking about speed. I'm talking about waiting for that opportunity in closing. Patient. Whether it's a shot, a pass, a screen, anything. They let it. They didn't show. They didn't show it. And when it came, when it was executed, it was executed perfectly. And this, and now that they have Cameron added defensive-wise, and I wouldn't even just say I wouldn't even say defensive wise. Well, Him and Barry go board, great defensive. Grab, grabbing boards, <laughs> stopping Pat like Cameron is. Cameron's that guy, and a lot of people slept on Cameron throughout the season last year until towards the end. When when, awesome. Once he got that player of the game, he didn't stop. His train. He was dropping fifteen every game, mm-hmm. every game. Because before that, before he got that player of the game, he was inconsistent. It was one of those. If I'm in. Then I can show, but more than like they're not really gonna play me. But when he did get in and he got that player, out of, that player, out of, he didn't stop that damn and train. And that money. was a, he got the talking cash <laughs> money. But when he came, when listen, when they set that bag of money on the table, yeah. he said, "I'm gonna deliver this for you, and I'm gonna bring you more back." Same yeah. with even him. when he wasn't shooting well, he always and even impact the game. That's the, when when he stopped, and that was another thing. When he felt like, oh, I couldn't <laughs> shoot. When he felt like, oh, I can't shoot that. All right, we finna play inside game. Forget it. Give me the ball down. He just have a guy that a jump for a rebound, knowing he can't get it. You know, you know who's gonna <laughs> separate the Bucks from a lot of teams. Well, what you got? Right now on paper, right now just from looking, mm-hmm. they are the best team. Cohesive. So, well, cause look at this. Did y'all watch Nathan and yes, Cam on the yes, game? Yes, yes, they played great. I, I, I you know, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking no, about, I'm, we talk about like in game setting up plays. No, yes, yes, talking on the court. They yes, were, was, very now, good. now you got Nathan Cameron. Then you got to gain a true point guard. Then you got Ben Green that's been in the system for years that at Oliver. Then you got Ben still in the same system. Then you got Tristan. You got Zach. That and one person easy. we have not even named yet. Jordan, Jordan Boyd. Yeah, he's a shooter. And, and, and Evan, his shot is And great. Evan ain't no bad shooter either. He, he's mm-hmm. a shooter too. He's had his high his Man. Because, yeah. like you said. Literally, everybody so everybody on this roster can shoot the basketball. Everybody. Everybody. They're not from, from, the, from Barrett to Ben to Caleb to Cameron to Evan to Jordan to Landon to Nathan Yaki to Tristan to Zach. All of them can they shoot the basketball. Shoot Barrett, ball. Barrett they can shoot that ball. They can shoot. Reminds me of Doncic. I like Barrett's game so much. Don't say that. No, <laughs> no like the way he plays how the he way plays he plays. Inside, how he plays inside, how he outside. You know, you know, that's my dog. Oh yeah, he's no, my Luka. MVP right I'm now. I'm going to see Luka Doncic on January 29th. Just let Man, you know. Give me SGA. Yeah. Give me SGA right now. But we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that because that boy. But I, like him. I said, with that Cam, not trying to take up time, but that Cam and Nathan duo, like you said, seeing them last season, they and they looked for, when they were on the court together. They looked for each other. Mm-hmm. They uh, Nathan came down looking like he'd be driven like I right, Cam. We're this is what and Cam. I right, cool. Like it was one of those. We can do this. Like, yeah, we got our other, but we can do this. You got anything you want to? I, I got breaking news real quick. What you got? We're going to get sued. 
Bucks are adding John Reed after the three weeks. Okay. I Bam! expected that. <laughs> they so said I, so, an, so another shooter. <laughs> they said the uh, rifle Reed. Rifle Reed, John. <laughs> you got anything you want to add now that he like, broke the news? Only thing the Bucks needed from last year, I think, in order to improve was more scoring, and they got that. So... I thought it was the rebounder with Marcus yeah, Pope. They missed that. Yeah, yeah. That, but they got Cameron Davis yeah. in place of John and Marcus Pope. Jordan, which, Jordan can and, rebound too. Okay. Well, we don't look. But every like I said, everybody's getting better now. One of the teams who had the jersey change, they're gonna look so nice. This is probably gonna be my favorite one. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Come on, jersey. jersey yeah, team. yeah. I mean, the Bulls is obviously my favorite team in real life, but mm. you know how that goes. Who going first for the Bulls? I'm going to go first, but I'm going to let Shebron go go after me. So, this roster, you have returning to the Bulls. You have Bobby Krivokopic and Seth Johnson. Um, and they added Jeremy Capper from the Hawks last season, which is no longer a team. Um, fly high Hawks. <laughs> uh, we got Benny Munoz, the coaching captain. Um, you have Christian Straw. You have Jack Halverson. You have... Jeremy Capper, who I named. You have Josh Marquez, who showed up to the tryout and showed um, showed really good signs of like playmaking, make open shot ability, um, and being able to play with like better guys. He's very unselfish. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, that, I, I think I, I I like that pickup for them. Uh, then you got Miguel Munoz, you got Nick Crow, and I mentioned oh, Seth oh. Johnson already. So this team only has three six. It's nine guys. Um, which is the minimum, which is, which is the the yeah, minimum. We we raised the minimum to nine to try to get more people from the area to kind of be in the league or around the league, so they had more spots. But this team, um, it's it's nothing I haven't seen before. I would say, um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know who that is. I'm, I'm gonna let you know. Yeah, I don't know who that know. is. Um, they, I think that a Bulls team that can defend can win it all. That's it. That's it. Really? I think a Bulls team that can play defense will win the whole thing because the Bulls have consist since I've been in K one. The Bulls have probably Bulls and Warriors were the highest scoring teams in the league, and the Lakers. Bulls, Warriors, Lakers were the highest three scoring teams in the league. They can get you a hundred almost any game. The Bulls probably did that the easiest and probably was the best shooting team. In this league since I've been in here um, with Benny Munoz, with Bobby, with now they added Christian, who is one of the better shooters in the league. You got Jeremy Capper, who can shoot the ball, but he's Mr. Efficient. We like to call him uh, anything from zero feet to 15 feet is money with him. Uh, Miguel, who's great catch, stop and pop shooter. Nick Crow will knock down the open shot if he's by himself. Like you can't just leave him. Um, Seth is just one of the smartest guys on the floor uh, playing for the Grizzlies last season. Just one of the smartest guys on the floor at all times. You just, you did, unless he was tired, you didn't really lose anything with Seth being on the floor, especially being 6'10". <laughs> you know, <laughs> the smartest guy being the biggest guy and the strongest guy, we'll take it. Um, but no, like like I said, if the Jack, this Jack Halverson guy is, is a top defender, um, uh, we know Nick Crow's going to bring the rebounder for sure. Led the league in rebounder all season, even on a bum um, foot. I can't wait to actually see them three. Um, yeah. Nick Crow, Nick, Seth, and Bobby They did C. once. Twice, twice. Twice, yeah. It was two seasons. But Seth was hurt. Seth wasn't himself. Seth, the Seth that we saw for the Grizzlies wasn't playing like that. Bobby was with y'all. Uh, Bob, Bobby was, was yeah, Bobby season. and Seth. And so, yeah, I would actually like to see those three on the court. Because they all... They all are like they're they have height. They have height. They all have that rebounding too. But they're all different three three different tall height guys. Like you got your center, which is just you like got your, your tall down guard, below. your tall yeah, forward, like you and got your big center, center <laughs> down below, automatic center. And then you got your your um your guard forward. Like that's that's Nick, you know what I'm saying? He he played he played guard a lot. Um, Around the whole court. He was he was day one through five mm-hmm. all time. But then you got Bobby, which was your shooter. Like that's your two. That Bobby game. is an amazing rebounder, y'all. If y'all, and, if y'all but that's have what played him with him. Nick, him one of the Nick best be, rebounders. That him I've and Nick could be great, a great rebounding duo. Yeah. And then just having Seth right there for all those like miss layup rebounds automatically. And then you got Bobby and 
Nick playing on your wings automatically. If you got them long shot, uh, rebound, automatically they grab it. Give me those. I need those. Sounding like Melo. That's one thing I loved about Nick. He sounded like Melo when it came to getting rebound. Give me that. Give me that. That's mine. Leave it alone. Uh, Get out here. I got it. On me. It was one of those. So it was like, I, I would love to see that. Um, The new guy who you guys named, his name's Jack. Jack Alverson. All right. We just. See. All right, Cortez, you got to... I don't know, you said Bron's name. I mean, but Bron don't know about Jack, so, you know... No, go ahead, Bron. You got it, Bron. I'm going to say, I'm not sure if this team necessarily improved, because they were really good last year. I think the only reason they got they lost in the playoffs last year was because of a bad call from the ref, and then a no call on the foul for the three-point line that would have put them up. They, 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 they would have won that game if it wasn't for that. So, I don't think they necessarily improved, because they, they, they were pretty good last year. They're going to be pretty good again this year. Uh, only thing I'm worried about this team is just temperament. It might be a lot of text going around on this team, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> like especially with like you know Nick Nick, he's trying to get it get on under, under, get get it together. Jeremy, you got to control your fouls, man. You be having four fouls in the first half, but he man. never <laughs> fouls out. <laughs> <laughs> he's every time he gets four, he's like, "Whoa, I always get four. I never, get five. I never he never fouls, fouls out, and then he never fouls out." But yeah, that's all I got to say. It's like he need four fouls to get activated again. <laughs> we go to dynamic. Jeremy is a hard nosed player. Mm-hmm. He ain't going into this season. I'm I must go fifteen twenty. No, I'm going in there. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna do all the dirty work for y'all. With when because you probably not gonna start on this team depending on who comes. Mm-hmm. But when he gets in, they know they're gonna get defense out of him. They know they know he going him off the bench. Least. Is amazing, right? So Jack Haverson, y'all remember Ricky Taylor, mm-hmm. Jeff and Taylor, brother, Octavius? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Jack Haverson was on Mantino. Jack Harrison at that time was about 6'6", six, six, pulled in 35 on that team. That team had Kamari, Steve Kamari Pickens, mm-hmm. Deion Thomas. They all had. He's 6'8 now, can shoot lights out, can dribble, can – I'm telling y'all, that kid is is, is legit. Ask Octavius about him. This team – it's going to be very, very scary. S- scary. Because, like y'all just said, all they were missing was defense. If they play defense, they're number one. And that's what it was. If they play defense, they're number one. I'm I'm, just, I'm saying that yeah. on line right now. Just, if they are able to play defense, they're number one in the I, I agree. And, and, no, I agree. And last year, what also stopped them was height. You know, they had, they were, yeah, they, they, yeah. it was hype. It, it was, was just really, it. It, it was hype. It was I, and I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even say defense because, um, no, defense, the reason, the reason, the reason, but the big, but their defensive player was Cortez. The dude he was, he like, was a great defender. He was cooking, he cookie, he cooking Buddha. He cooking Buddha. He cooking Buddha and Buddha. And all Buddha had to do, I seen it. What made Puda change his game? Puda stopped dribbling. That game when they played, he cookie Puda twice in a matter of five minutes. Puda stopped dribbling the ball. Puda stopped bringing up the court. He stopped bringing up the ball up the court within the last couple minutes of the first half. He was on business with them, and I kept telling him. I tell and y'all always know. You know, I said I, I like to play his own Spurs or whatever. They, I'm not gonna say favoritism or anything, but That's those, what that was yeah. family more so than anybody right, else. Right, right. I used to have my one on ones with them. I used to tell who y'all stop playing with him. They, oh no, we stop playing with him. He go, he go cause y'all trouble. First, first couple minutes of the game, he was on Poodle heels. Poodle stopped dribbling the ball at one point. Poodle was just okay. Give me the ball. I can dish it off to somebody else. I, I be open off for for a shot. Well, it sucks they don't have him. Yeah, I know, and that's what I'm saying. But like you said, they got they. I'm not gonna say they improved, but they filled in their gaps that they needed. Height and defensive wise is what they actually needed. And now that they got it, then you bringing up Jack, who I'm always I'm always open to new people. I'm a people's person. I'm, I like to see new people play, especially when these new people come in and be showing these veterans. Mm-hmm. This ain't nothing easy. 
Like, Josh, Josh ain't bad either. Josh Marquez is, is Josh not bad. No, we watched him in that tryout. He do, he looked <coughs> more patient than everybody else. He looked more experienced than everybody else. He did wasn't scared of anything that was thrown out there at him. He can shoot, and he can shoot. It was one of those things where it's like, okay, well, if your point guard can shoot the ball and get it where it needs to go, with unselfishly, like, what more do you need from somebody than to not turn the ball over and make threes? Mm-hmm. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was an easy pick for them. Like, hey, we like you. You don't do too much, and you don't turn the ball over. Yep. Come on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Nick's injury last year is also kind of slowed yeah. down a little bit. Yeah. Before the injury, he was, what, 17, 15 guys? 17, 15, uh, again. He's slowing down some, so him coming back healthy, it's going to be a sight to see. Yeah. Well, that's the Bulls, guys. Next team we have is a one, two, two with this team. the Celtics. Oh yeah, one, two, two. They're not playing, man. But one, two, two. Four, three, two. All right, we got the Celtics show. So, just name the players off, and I'll tell you more about them. We have Brody Gonzalez, Cam Link, and CJ Link. Mm. We have Jameer Hines, mm. John. I don't know who this guy is. John Chipovich. And then we got Coach Josh Arsenault. Uh, then we have Kevin Howard, Max McClearly, and Ryan Kavos. No J Kavos this season. No J. No, no J this season. Player. No Jay this season, guys. Uh, Jay was probably one of my favorite players to pull watch play. Not gonna lie, um, just he was just an entertaining guy. Like he took he took everything personal, and it was so funny. <laughs> it was the fun, and he actually used it to motivate himself because he's they're older than most of these guys and still be cooking. Like it's so funny. But Cam Link and CJ really Link, admit that. they be cooking and being older than and everybody. They, and they be cooking. They, they be cooking. Like what is we? You know. I can't, I can't, I can't hate on that. I'm sorry. Run up and down the court, the way they be. Yeah, me. But in open runs, I know they be cooking. Cooking. Man, but Cam Link, CJ Link, they just came from the Nets. Um, Jameer Hines just came from the Spurs. Um, I said he's nobody new to be. Yeah, and and Jameer Hines comes, but that's it. Everybody, John Chep, uh, Chepkovich, I haven't. I don't know this. I don't know who this is, but I guess we will find out. Brody Gonzalez made an all league team. I think. I think he was honorable mention or third team. That's a shooter team. Yeah. So this team is. I mean, Cam and CJ Link. I've I've played with them a lot, but in this league, they still have much to prove to me. They have a lot. Um, I, I, based on what their lot. potential is and what I know they and can. There's the, the the so much that they and can. And knowing how they can play, they need to do it. They they gotta execute. For yeah. Sure. There's no J out there anymore, so it's a it's a the game that can be sped up a little more. If um, they if they want to get played as a duo, like brotherly brother on the court at Saint, they have to show that they know how, and that they're quiet. That's what affects their game. They don't talk, you know. what I'm saying they don't. They don't really do too much. But their game is very. Their game speaks a lot. Mm-hmm. And they. I'm not gonna say they didn't have the room to show it on the next. They did. But I feel like this team that they're on now. They's gonna require with Ryan. them. They Norm, gonna require Ryan, them above. Norm, Ryan, and Josh. And I'm not gonna say personally, but knowing them and how their coaching style is. They're gonna. I think they can let them reach their potential this season. I think this hurts Brody more than anybody. I think this hurts Brody. I don't. I think it I does. Think cool. I think it's cool for him. I think it hurts. It to me, and the reason why I say cool, a humbling experience. I mean, yeah, but a I think I think Brody, experience. Brody with, with Antonio, them expecting Antonio Phillips to be there, and he wasn't there last season. Um, and then Brody had a gap to fill. So he it's like he had no choice but to like really take those shots and fill in that gap. And then he started became the Brody that we kind of know in the league. You know what I'm saying? Shooter can get a bucket inside, gets to the free throw line. The only thing about his game I don't like is that he complains. I just see I hear him whine a lot. And I, t- I mean, he Brody, know I, I love you, Brody. You know this. I tell you this in your, to your face. So, you know, it ain't no shade. But like. That's the only thing he does that probably bothers me about him. Like, okay, dude, you got hit. Get back on defense. Okay, dude, yeah, he hit your arm. Ref didn't call. And that's what it's I mean. It's not going to happen, bro. Like, but I think that he's not – I think that these shots – Jameer's going to take more shots for sure because he's played with – it was the Suns at the time. But this is basically yeah, that's what, what that yeah, 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 yeah. Suns team was. It's the Celtics now. Um, he's played with k uh so he has kind of a lot of experience with them. Coach Josh, I think, has more of a challenge now because Kavos is going to be out for a little bit with some personal issues going on. Um, so he has a chance to actually coach up these guys. Uh, I think that somebody has to sacrifice their shots. 
in this because you have to give Jameer shots, proven shooter. Brody is streaky. Um, he'll have a game where he'll go five for eight, five for six, the thing, with, and then have a game where he'll go over four. With who they have now, that's what Brody I mean. doesn't need that's to I mean. take shots. That's what I'm saying. Brody so I think this hurts. I think Brody's hurts really a take it to the rim type of. He's actually always been a free throw line, take it to the rim type of guy. It was just last year. He's gonna have to play more point guard, and and that's that's why I said it won't. He's gonna have to play more guard. It will humble him. He, he can fit back in that role. He, he had to step up last yeah. year. Yeah, I just hope that it doesn't. You know, I just hope that that's natural for him. Is what I'm saying all because I, was, I felt like he was comfortable scoring the ball. Yeah, like he was really comfortable taking those shots and scoring the ball. All I would say is, hopefully, the Celtics doesn't. And this is what I mean by drop the ball. The Celtics actually could have went further. If in the championship, <laughs> if they would have started without without like the the back to back games, mm-hmm. they dropped the ball when they did not start Brody for them two back to back games, and I think that's when Kevin came back. Howard, mm-hmm. that's when Howard came back, and when he first when he first when Howard first started, he was cooking. He was cooking. He was cooking. Cause y'all told me about him. Mm-hmm. I remember y'all Kevin told Howard. me about him. Y'all was like, and that's I remember, AP. That's his. Boy. That's when I did my first. Podcast with y'all and y'all mm-hmm. and I was like, who is Howard? And y'all was like, he nice. And I seen him. Yeah, that first game. He and was he was cooking for like three games straight. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was two games they did not start Brody and it hurted them because he and wasn't cooking like that. He yeah. he stopped and that was he came in. Howard was getting dealt with. Mm-hmm. He was getting dealt with down below. And Brody was sitting on the bench. I'm like, okay, this is the time. This is one of the games where Brody needs to start because I think I don't know who team it was, but it was one of those teams where. Howard actually didn't have to do too much, but they were feeding him the ball as if he needed to, and he was making mistakes. He was gassed. He was missing easy shots. He was and, missing a lot of layups. And it was just like, okay. And then when they did, and by the time they did put Brody in, they were already down 12. And they put Brody in within the last 10 minutes of the second half. Now he over here cold, bones ain't working. He, you know, so when he did come in, he he missed a couple of shots, but he was taking to, he got them back within a reasonable um, score. Like they didn't lead, but he got them back within a reasonable score. And he was like, he was mad. His parents was mad. And I'm like, normally when people get mad, I be, you can't be mad at that. But that specifically was something like, y'all should, yeah. yeah, it was one of those like y'all should have kept it the way it was to even it out. And that was a lot of teams' downfall, actually, last year, last season, was making the wrong substitutions. And the oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that – was, <laughs> And that's when I'm going to play devil advocate. So, I'm going to let – I ain't going to say say, but I'm going to put my little mini-me over here yeah. for a minute. This is – This but is – Celtics was, was his Dark Horse team all and last year. I know. So, I yeah. know. He, he wanted to do it. Everything. First couple games, Kevin Harden was in, was cooking, and then he kind of got slowed down. Max McCreary needs to kind of step up and help go in. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. That's a, that's a country strong dude. That right dude. <laughs> that dude. He. I need to see him on, on, on the boards more. Yeah. Oh, dang. All right, guys. So, the next I team. About you didn't? <laughs> You said oh, 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 okay, okay. okay. Get up. Look, you I definitely did. Up, All right, so what you got? What you got for the Celtics? I don't got nothing for the Celtics. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm concerned. Oof. Um, because I'm concerned because I don't know this John. Chief, yeah, Chepkovich. I, I, they say he's a guard. Like they say he's a, a point guard. If he is. A point guard. That's, that's great. Mm-hmm. That's what they need for this team. Right. They need a point guard. If he's a point guard, they can be a really tough team. Um, because Boston has always been a system team ever since Josh has had him. So that's one thing that I feel like Cam and CJ do best in is in a system. Even mm-hmm. when they was at McNamara. When they playing. They was in the system. They had to play within that system, and they excelled. Structure. Even with the Nets, C- CJ didn't have a bad season last year. No, he did. Um, he he could have did, 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 did more. He could have did more from time to time. But however, he didn't have a bad season, yeah, sure. and they didn't play Cam a lot for Cam to actually have a he decent season. season. So, like it, it, it's gonna be more so 
can the new guys Jamel already played with um, Josh and them already, so he understands. He's also played with Cam and CJ. I say he made when he for the Kings. Yeah, oh yeah, so he, for the Kings. Over, yeah. he understands the dynamic of how Josh wants to coach the team and things of that nature. So like, I'm if if, if John Chip Chukukoba, um, <laughs> Chepkovich is good. Like if he can if he can control the game at the guard position, they they can be good. Okay. All right. I just hope Rose. Next team we have is the Grizzlies. That's right. Rose. And that's that's Josh's job to make sure. And he. And And for the Grizzlies, we have Chad White, who is now the coach of the Grizzlies. Oh. Um, Yeah, Chris White, brother of Chad White. Uh, Demarcus Wilson, who played for the Grizzlies two, three seasons ago, I want to say. The first season for the Grizzlies. uh, When, since I had, whatever, yeah. Dominique McKinney. Uh, new addition, new face. Ian Ogbomo, uh new addition as well. Jamario Brown. We have James Coleman, Jeremiah Mitchell, and myself, Walter Hudson the third. Um Ian Ogbomo. But all right. Trey, what you uh what you got for this Grizzlies team, man? How you feel about the roster? I know it's it's all brand new guy. We had a lot of different guys last season. Okay, it's a so big switch up. New guy, all the new names I did here, never seen him play. Mm-hmm. Um, so once again, the doors of the church is open for you. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. That's, I like new faces, especially when you have new faces that plays with veterans that know what they're doing and can like Chad. So funny about Chad. So real quick personal story about me and Chad. <laughs> I had them. I had y'all losing or whatever. Right. And it was right before y'all game. Chad was in the corner stretching, and I had walk pass. I'm like, man, y'all go play today. Forget answering the question. He looked towards his brother. Was like, oh yeah, this dude who he, he, he got us losing. He, I'm like, well, excuse me. I'm like, I'm just going off what I see. It's just predictions. And not trying to be funny, y'all lost. Who do we leave was the Warriors? Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to tell, and, and this is going to be Chad, and I'm speaking to Chad personally. I'm glad that he's become, I'm glad that he's actually going to be the coach. It's going to help him work on his temper. He had a lot of temper, under, underlying temper problems with playing Last season, that's so funny. Hey, you finna uh, laugh? We finna laugh? He gonna like, call me? He gonna laugh? That's and he gonna, gonna so laugh because he, he, he knows be so funny. a lot of stuff. Like, and it was it wasn't bad temper. It was more so trying to get the team on the same page. Temper, like you know, how you get frustrated when your team ain't. But you said you doing. I'm gonna say it's his body language. And that, we and, talk about it all the time. And I be like, you good? And I be like, you good? And yeah, soon as soon as one bad, as soon as one one bad shot. Here comes Chad. That's tough. Here comes Chad running down the court like he like <laughs> like uh what like red on Friday. <laughs> he, come on, man. Um, you a bucket? Chad's another bucket that I like. I like seeing Chad playing. So to see him in that out and he y'all did kind of y'all did do a lot of switch roles. You know what I'm saying? Where mm. y'all both were playing coach the coach player uh, role. And he, I mean, I he like is him. my assistant coach, and I like. See, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I just thought he was just AP, one of those. AP was the the guy that I, I had brought along, like to With really it. help me like mm-hmm. see different things and to be able to like put structure into place because that's something that and I didn't have. Enough. And that was another. And AP was a big very, structure part of it. I would it. say, yeah. and Chad is you can see Chad he bounces off AP a lot. Yeah. Um, he brings what AP was trying to bring. You know, what I'm saying trying to get y'all to know what he wasn't there. And I like Chad. I, I, I actually like Chad. I like his brother playing too. Chris was nice. Um, yeah. yeah um, Walter's no longer the coach. We're gonna act like Walt's not right here. You know, mm-hmm. Walter's no longer the coach. I said this early. I'm ready. To, I'm tired of seeing Walt with the bubble stat sheet. I'm ready to see some numbers. I'm ready to see Walt play like he how he playing over and run. You hear me? Mm-hmm. That's it. I'm ready for it. I so I'm ready. I'm re- I'm ready for the Grizzlies to show me something different. Um, that's it for me, man. What you got, uh, Shabron? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I like to see more James Coleman. 
I would, I would like to see him uh, play more if he's available to play because he was definitely a game changer for y'all last season when, when he did play games. Um, I want I want to see about these new guys, these new additions to the, to the league, and see how they're going to affect y'all team. Because last year, what y'all, y'all was number two in the standings going to play? Number two, yeah. We, two. we were nine and two. Yeah. So, it's, it's a lot of tough competition, so they can definitely help, help y'all elevate. Y'all... Mark Conner not being there, that was a big loss because mm-hmm. he was he coming down late in the second first, half yeah. of the season. He was like a leading scorer, right? Mm-hmm. So, Him and Seth. Yeah. So, uh, these new conditions could help step up and fill those voids of Seth and Mark. I um, got to back right there. Number one, number two. Mm. What you got, Cortez? Well, I mean, I talked to you briefly about them at the open run. I mean, Chad, Chris, my boys. I mean, I, I'm – Hoping and praying that you know you come along and and help this thing because like I don't know Dom, Dominique or Ian so I can't really say anything about them but if I'm if I'm just talking about like uh, the dynamic of where you guys fit within this league I don't know I I, I don't know I I gotta see so I mean. I know Chad, I know Chris, I know you, Jeremiah, Jane, James, Jamario, and Demarcus. So, um, I believe you guys could be good defensively. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know too much to say. I, 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 it's I a different race. It's a different roster than we had. Yeah. So, it, nobody really knows. what It's like... Almost totally different. Yeah. Um, like it's Dominique a guard. So I, I'm gonna explain all that now. Oh, that you okay. all gave you. So, um, so Dominique McKinney, we call him Damo. Okay. Um, that's been a guy I've been knowing since I was at sixth or seventh grade or something like that. I think he's a year under me, but he used to always come out to different neighborhoods and play ball with us. Um, he's one of those guys who was just a hard worker. wasn't like the most talented person, but he loved the game. Was in the gym more than everybody, lifted more than everybody. Like he's just one dead. Like he broke his nose in the zero league. Um, mm. Where we were supposed to get another player, but he ended up hurting himself. Right. But um, he broke his nose like in the game and played on the broken nose. He's he's recovering from a broken nose right now. He just had surgery, so like he's not gonna play week one. But um, he's he's a he's a guard. He's very disciplined. He his motor never stops. He has the best body language in the world. He's um he can shoot the basketball like you can't so you can't leave him open he will knock the shot down but he is a playmaking oriented guy a very and he was in the on the all defensive team first team all defense for his last league so he's gonna guard and he's gonna play he's really good in the fast break um and he's very smart so he's somebody that can be like one of those pace guys like how, almost how Wally Watson is you know for the league Wally might I think Wally's a better passer you know what I'm saying but the pace that they both play at is. Mm-hmm. Is what I'm comparing it to. But Dominique is one of those guys. And Ian is about 6'3". But he's probably one of the strongest people I know or I've ever met. Like, like I feel like personally, if he was sitting right here, he can grab both of y'all. <laughs> Just like pick both of y'all. Oh, he's, he's, he's one of the strongest people I know. Like, And playing against his screens, I've run, running into him is like running into a wall. Um, he He's played lineman. He played Division One football okay. um, at UW Stout. Um, in Wisconsin, is that Wisconsin? It is in Wisconsin. Yeah, he uh, so he was a lineman. You know what I'm saying? So his hands are like the greatest. Like he tips, touches everything. Like on pick and rolls, he can catch with the left hand, catch with the right hand, finish both sides. You know, like the only thing he probably needs to work on is shooting. But he has a little nice little mid range touch if you leave him. You know, like almost how um, like Taj Gibson. Okay. That's that's the best way I can describe him. It's like a Taj Gibson. He hit that mid range jump shot on you, like for the Bulls, Taj Gibson. But he he's like that. So this team personally is probably the most excited I've been a part of. To me, um, I love the teams that we've had before. They've all brought different challenges. And me, I'm all about bringing the guys that I know would be dedicated to this, not necessarily people that would. Uh, just use it for what it is. So my guys show up. Good point. Good you know what I'm saying? That's the real reason I do this. Like, hey, if you love this and I know you love this, come on. I can work with that. Win or loss, I can work with you being the best you can be. You know what I'm saying? Um, this team, every single person on this team has some feels like they have something to prove. Every single person on this team feels like they have something to prove because they know what they're going to look at. They're going to look at Chris, Chad, and James and be like, okay, well, we kind of know about them. 
But the Jeremiah, Walter, Demarcus, uh, and Jamario, those guys feel like they didn't get a fair shot for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Even if it was self-inflicted, you know, even if it was in a, from a sacrificial standpoint, we feel like we've been, we know what we can do and we have to just go out here and show people that we aren't what this paper looks like. So I think that that's the chip that the Grizzlies are bringing into the season, but um, had a lot of stuff going on, you know, I won't speak on, but. I mean, I, I like this roster personally from a from a clicking standpoint. Even our group chat is very active and talking and joking and laughing. You know, it's will really. Will Ian be there first week? Ian will be there first week. Okay. Ian will be there first week. Ian Damo won't, but I think he's gonna show up. He's just not gonna play. Uh, I think everybody except I can't remember. Everybody, it's it's some people that's not gonna show up. But it's but we'll have enough. I think we'll have like five or six. Hopefully we get everybody. But all right, next, we have the Heat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Apply Pressure. Derek Grant, my boy. Been been our longest sponsor, most consistent sponsor in this league thus far. Trey, we on the Heat. We on the Heat, Trey. Oh, he got another cookie with the Heat. Yay. Hey. He ain't hot no more. We ain't even in the kitchen. <laughs> he ain't hot no more. <laughs> so for the Heat, we got Alonzo King, Blake Graham, Cortez Baines, Darian Bosby, Lane Thompson, Sean Ort, Trey Anthony, and Wyatt Thompson. Who you going over? Go ahead, Cortez. So <laughs> he said he was waiting. He was waiting. I know why people leave the Heat. We all know why. We know why. The, the man guy. I don't know what you're talking about. One in, Nathan. Cameron, John, we all know why they left. Because they didn't want to play with that guy. Those guys. Five, and you down, you down four or five points mm-hmm. in the game against who they who they play against in the playoffs. Um, the uh, one of them ten. Yeah. They were down five. It was like maybe Boston. two minutes left. Boston, it could have been. I think it was two minutes left. And you let your emotions come out, and you, you see the real side of you. And I wasn't even in there for that game. It was and you, it was and, you and you gain a technical foul, and you still in the game. And I can see it on Nathan and them face, like, and you walk bro, on. like, what are you doing? Like, no one wants to sustain with that going forward. When 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 our mindset is we want to win, but we want to definitely do it the right way. Mm-hmm. We want to do it together. We want to do it in a way that you know, integritized way. Integritized. Mm-hmm. That's a nice I word. See I, see you, I see you, Webster Dictionary. I so, <laughs> so I understand and and why Cam and them left because no one because they played hard and that that's the thing that kills me. They played hard mm-hmm. for Trey and and all of them. Like they 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 were you know playing. They were they were they were giving them. They were every game, everything that they had, and until that game. moment, until that moment. Now you get a foul, you get a technical, and now in a moment where we could have probably came back, you only down five. Now you down eight, well, then and then it eight. came. To eleven, Daniels. now you lose the game because you couldn't just. All right, that's a foul. Let me let me move on. Like, and and it, and it kills because I I was confident because I that's, picked that, and that's what I was just. That's the only thing I was just going to say about you. That was your dark horse team. Yeah, I picked them you because I'm just saying. like Nathan and them has been keeping them good. Trey been level, like he's been like actually coaching. Mm-hmm. No offense, Walter. I had Trey as my coach. That's who I picked. I picked Trey. So it's <laughs> like in those moments, if I'm Nathan and them, I can't trust you because you, you're gonna let this moment dictate the rest of our season when you could have just been level headed as well as you've been the whole season, and that goes for all the rest of. Them. So when we go to this team. I mean, and personally, it's like you Cortez, know what? We just I mean, got the people he's a from good the, pickup from, from the Hawks. 
Right, you get Lane, you get White, so okay, you get so you Lane. I like seeing Lane. I like seeing Lane in the league for sure. Yeah, but when you talk about this league, you got big man that run the flow. Mm-hmm. We don't know what shape he in. He might be everywhere. I don't know. But can Blake show up? Can Blake show up? Can White show up? I like Cortez. How would this team be made up? Like who who how is this makeup this, gonna be? What would the start? The way this be? team looks is they look like they're the new team. Uh-huh. Miami, like they look like they're the new team in the league. Right. You feel me? The way their roster looks, they look like they're the new team. And I'm picking it back off. This, this is my say of them. I'm just saying. I'm picking it back off that. Cuz, Lonzo, y'all did drop the ball with them. Because um, I was right there. I was, we was right there. I was right there sitting next to OKC. You know, that was my team. I was right there. And we all sat there. Me, um, Marcel, um, Tanky, we was all sitting right there. They was all back there stretching. They kept looking at us. Every time that, hey, come on. We ain't on the court. Y'all got to play. Right. And that's how, in, when it comes down to moments like that, it's always all about trust. I may know you got a, I, I know you got an anger problem, and I'm just talking in general. Well, I know you got an anger problem. But when it come down to it, are you can you control that anger for like no matter what happens, if we within the ten point range, can you sit there and, just and shut it. your mouth and turn around and let Some that call be the call? Some people can't let it go. And that goes for and the reason why I say and I agree with you, that goes for everybody. We didn't heard words from all these players when it came to refs, said getting kicked out the gym, having to leave being ejected, all these random texts, all because sometimes you can't shut your mouth. You can't just say it's a foul. Now, and sometimes texts be worth it. And this is why I'm playing devil advocate. Sometimes a tech be worth it. And I'm not talking about... Chad did it against the Celtics for us. Yeah. And, and again, it, and we and started and going and crazy. And, y'all, and it was crazy. And then when y'all see what happened, y'all like, all right, y'all, Brown. He was he was y'all mediator. Mm. Chad had got that tag. He I saw hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get how y'all but hold good. on. We we still we still up. Like we we good. And that was one of those. Like they were only down five. 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 And the first was on the floor. The five was on, on the floor. You, mm-hmm. the you on had the floor. Yeah. easily. And you saying it, Trey. Like you saying it and with Nathan and Cameron Frey, they said. Nathan did and, and I'm finna show you, Nathan did just like this. He did. Like he, he, he did the hand. Nathan, Nathan, he said, he said, come on, y'all. And they kept talking. When they got that second tank, he did just like this. Like it's over. Cameron did just like this. Can't trust that. Dude. And it was just like how many times do I got to keep putting my hands on my hips? How many times do I got to fold my arms? I'm madder than y'all right now. <laughs> and, and y'all I ain't even the one who got the tank. Because they work hard, man. And they it's like hard. those things will always be a big – I don't care. Everybody be like, oh, defense wins games. But composure. your attitude – Composure. Your attitude and composure will end the game. You got anything, man? You got anything about this? So I just hope y'all do better than what we saying on this panel. I don't really got much else to add. I wasn't big on the Heat last year, as others were. Um, I'm not big on them this year. It's, um, composure definitely was key, especially with the playoff game off of composure. Arguing with the ref ain't never going to change the call, ever. And they never work one time. I have not seen that happen. <laughs> we ain't got a we ain't got a flashback camera for that yet. <laughs> we ain't got the replay camera yet for that. We working on it, but <laughs> so when we talk about bottom two, ding 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 ding. ding. Mm. When we were talking about bottom bottom two, yeah, no, that's no. I ain't gonna say nothing yet. I ain't gonna say nothing yet. Don't <laughs> say nothing about. Them. So next, my favorite mm-hmm. team. <laughs> That was we got team. the Hornets, which is a new team. Shout out to uh, my boy David for um, 
Yeah, David Stevenson for getting into the league. Thank you for showing oh, up. Yeah. Thank you for being there. Most Sundays where I can see you on the sideline, you with the games, with the players, talking to everybody. That is an example of if you want to be in this league and you want to be a part of this league, just show up. I be trying to tell people, just show up. We'll give you something to do. You know what I'm saying? That's not a problem. But we got Anthony Lawrence. We have Billy Baptist. We have David Stevenson. We have Johnny Fox. We have Kwani Blackman. We have LaRon Penton, we have Latrell Tidwell, we have Mark Connor, we have Otis Houston making a return, we have Rich Kirk who's making a return as well, and we have Wally Watson who just came from the Bucks. Um, I think Mook, Mook Lawrence is Anthony. That's Mook. I want to say yeah, that's Mook. Yeah, that's Mook. Because <laughs> the number. That's the only thing they gave you away from me. Such bandwagon. Yeah. So so, so Mook Lawrence. I think Mook band. Lawrence was one of the <laughs> best moves for any new team because. Um, the way he hustles, the way he plays defense, the way he can knock down shots. Um, he's the definition of like his temp is like that temperament that you talk about, but it's like but he perfect. keeps it. He keeps it. It's like I'll get a tech, but I know when I'm going too far. And he he ain't you know one to shut up. That's one thing about Mo. Yeah, Once he got that tech, he'd go to the ref like, I right, like, what was woo woo? And then within that talk, him and the ref laughing, they like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Whatever. And it's gone. Johnny Fox is a guy that played in the other league that I keep talking about. Uh, I don't know if I'm promoting him or not, but <laughs> anyway, um, he was on that team with Kwani Blackman, with um, Johnny Fox was on that team with him too. Uh, it's another guy, uh, you know, Otis and Kwani uh, have a really good relationship, so he had him come and see him that game that we were out there for their championship. They won, which they won the championship, and they won. Um, but no, John, Johnny Fox, new guy. Rich Kirk played for the Grizzlies uh, two seasons ago. Um, it's about it's about six six, I want to say. Uh, Rich, oh, yeah, Rich. He's about six six, skinny guy, but he's a lefty, great shooter. He's one of the smartest guys on the court at all times. One of the best passers and a great defender. Uh, something that people didn't really see. Mark Connor speaks for himself. Every time he gets in his league, he's a bucket. He's gonna get his. Latrell Tidwell is him and Mook. Both huge additions for this team because now you have a perimeter pest and you have an interior defender mm -hmm. that is going to be an issue and that's not and Kwani Blackman can defend we know what we Billy Baptist is easily the best player in the league you know what I'm saying um like and and only saying that because he's in shape coming from you know uh, overseas and just with the way that he plays basketball and with the team that he has here there's not much you're gonna be able to do with him one on one. It's not much. Because if he's you smaller than him, he's going to turn his back. If you're bigger than him, he's going to take you on the perimeter. He can sit down there and play big man. He's 6'8", 6'7", something like that. You know, um, I mean, it's a lot of talent in this league, though. But Billy, I don't, wouldn't say he's clear cut number one. I got to see, we got to see him again. Last time he was in the league, it was clear cut. When he played for the Celtics, it was easy. Easily, he was the best player in the league. But um, Antonio Marshall's still in the league, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we still got a lot of lot of lot of talent in the league. But this this team easily the most talented team in the league. As far as just raw talent and skill, if you had like an overall next to each person's name, you probably have the highest overall. <laughs> you know, like, like that that doesn't the mean average. that doesn't mean mesh and fit though. Right. That's the one thing about this team that concerns me. It's a lot of guys on this team. Because they ain't gonna lie. Mark and Tidwell ain't gonna be on the court at the same time. I mean you don't we maybe. That's gonna be tough. Maybe. And you reason, never know. The reason why I say that's tough is because Tibble is slow at running. He's very lanky, but his speed is not where it actually should be. Um, I would like to see, and sorry if I'm taking over first, but I'm going to just get mad. Go ahead, get out the way. I would like to see Kawani get out the funk that he got, that he had. Because he had it. At the beginning of last season. Especially against the Spurs. He had it. And then I think it was after midseason when we took that little Labor Day break. He came back and he was in a funk. I tell you, I will I will play that devil, not devil's advocate, but I will let it you know he was hurt. Okay. He did hurt himself. And that's why he missed two weeks. 
He didn't. It was two games he didn't play with us because he was hurt. See, he didn't. And let then he came back. He was. He didn't want. He was. He was. He was. He was. A, he was, a, he was, a, he was a, it wouldn't be no excuse. Hurting was hurt. Yeah, he, no, you he, was, he was playing. And the thing about it, you you know when somebody's hurt versus when somebody's using. He was really hurt. That injury as an excuse. He was really hurt because I kept asking. He wasn't. He wasn't explosive as he used as he was at the beginning of the season. He was taking less shots. Um, because he was a bucket. I, he was actually one of my fan favorites. And I used to come up to him every game. What's going on, man? What's going on? He's like, man, I don't, I'm in a farm. I'm in a farm. And I'm like, I'm like, show me something. Like, I'd be like, show me every game. I'm show me something. He's like, I got you. And I wouldn't say he had disappointed me, but I could tell something was holding him back. Didn't, didn't think of injury at all. I thought it was just something could have personally had happened or, you know what I'm saying? He's just he not just right. And so I'm just like, okay, cool. But this is where I play devil advocate. How did you let... Oh, sell you out at the end of the season. We was all sitting there right by the door. We was talking. This is all jokes. We was all sitting there talking. It's me, O, Billy, Tidwell, all of us sitting right there. Um, D. Bradley and everything. Mm-hmm. That's when they was creating their little team. I'm like, man, y'all better not switch over. He, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just I like, knew he was going. I'm just like, man. I knew I'm he was like, going don't sell me like that. Like I. I mean, like, don't say at me like that, but not saying, like you said, this roster has talent. Mm -hmm. They have talent. I would just like to see if they can put that talent into together, combined, where nobody feels like they're getting underplayed. Other people don't feel like somebody is being overplayed. (coughs) Somebody's going to get underplayed. But I need, I would like them to understand why. Especially after going into like going into like the fourth week, you know what I'm saying? That's because how much is Wally gonna play? Like yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You got KB, you got KB, you got KB, KB Wally, you got Billy, Billy like, Mook, Mook. You got these people lot, that can know? really, and they all, and y'all all are standing at basically that that height. You know what I'm saying? It's not much of a height difference between KB and Mook. And Wally, like, it's not really, like, I think Billy is really the, the biggest when it comes to weight and height between all four of them. Yeah. Johnny's 6'6". So, six, six. And, you know. Johnny I mean, might be the biggest. Because I think Mook is, like, what, 6? Tri- Trail the biggest. Trail 6'8", six, six, ain't he? Okay, and Mook is standing there, like, what, 6'1", six, 6'2"? Six, yeah. Uh, KB KB's is six, standing 6'3", six, and then Wally's 6'3". Wally, six, six, three. Three. So, it's those three, and they all really... It all goes, and I think when it comes to those three, we're going to get Billy out the way, um, personally, me personally. When it comes to Wally, Mook, and KB, it's going to be one of those who actually wanted more. And I would kind of take Wally out the equation a little bit, too, because of his tempo. He's a he's a slower down guy. He's a point guard. He's, he's a slower down. Like, if he see dip, us running up and down the court ain't working... Let's slow this down. Give me the ball. Let me slow this down. Let's decipher these plays out the right way. Because when he was with the Bucks, they ran great plays. It was just sometimes down below, didn't execute it. You know what I'm saying? Either missing or getting fouled and didn't hit free throws. Um, while he was a great, nice shooter, he was very consistent with shooting when he needed to be. Um, KB explosive with getting to the rim. KB is very explosive with he He's nice when it's coming to get into the rim. He can create that space. So... What you got, Cortez? I mean, on paper, they're a uh, 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 definitely upper enchilant team. But when I when I look at some of the other good teams that's in the league too, I think talent is, is everywhere. So mm-hmm. it's like it's gonna come down to defense. Who can stop who? I mean, it's just simple as that. Who can make shots when you talk about offense? Who's gonna make? Consistent shot. Billy ain't gonna be there all season. Mm-hmm. He's not even playing Sunday, so we we don't know what Billy mindset is. We know he's gonna be gone for a good portion of the season, and they say he he's gonna be right at the three that he has to make. But who are they without Billy? That's a good question. Like I mean, y'all, do, you know Johnny. I don't know Johnny. Johnny, it's not gonna be. It's it's gonna be. I mean, Johnny? Mark is probably gonna be they they number one guy. Mark and I know Mark and KB are gonna be the ones taking a lot of the shots. So so now listen to this. Logically, listen to what yeah, Wally just said. I mean, Walter just said. I know. Logically. He said Mark 
and Kawani and are, yeah. are going to be the ones that take the most shots. Where were they just at last year? They were with the Grizzlies. I mean, no, if it's the Grizzlies, what happened to the Grizzlies? We lost. So uh, what do we? But that's we, but that's but that that's a different team. The Grizzlies were also. We got other different teams too. I mean, but no, but the dynamic of the Grizzlies wasn't necessarily. For, I mean, Mark did his job, but KB had didn't have the season he wanted to have. Is all that was. You know, like I said, through the injury. So, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. But also, the Grizzlies were the number one defensive team by far. Like, so that's what won us games. Scoring the ball never won us games. Like, we so didn't. So, you said this is going to be the best they, defensive they, team then? That's what I was going to say. With Trail Tidwell and with Mook Lawrence, defensively, they're going to be able to stop a lot of things. It's going on. Wally's a defender as well. Rich is a defender as well. I'm not going to say nothing about nobody else. Johnny can defend the paint as well. Um... I mean, being six six, like two two fifteen or something like that. So, like, so yeah. now we go to like who's going to be on the floor at certain And that's different that's different. my concern because, like I was saying, these I different teams, the yeah. these different teams. When you talk about the Spurs, when you talk about the Nets, when you talk about shoot the Bucks, yeah. all these different things can create different mismatches LA. for different teams. So LA, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. So it's like on paper, I. Hell, I mean, dang. Um, like I, I like all. Of, I'm, I'm all, always been a fan of Mook, Trail, um, Mark, all of them. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do. So I mean, hey, I put your, put your money where your mouth, is. put your money where your mouth is. Because for what I heard, mm. what you got, man? Yeah, like you said, on paper, they, that like, <laughs> they, they can be number one, number two C. But I'm gonna say that regardless of how they gel together. This opens up the league to anybody can be in the championship game now. They took important pieces from other good teams and added to their team. So they even if they don't do they spread well, the league out. They spread the league out. And um so it's an eight season, avatar, huh? Every every <laughs> every year that Trell and Tyree were together, they're in the championship. They're not together this year. So now you never know. <laughs> yeah. Is it gonna be one or the other? Let's find out in the next episode. All right. A few more teams left. I'm gonna try to get through these. Lakers, as you all just mentioned. So we have Adam Benson, Andre Robertson Sr., who is the coach, Devontae Barnes, J.J. Calvin, Marcus Gibbs, who I heard was really good, um, Quill Marshall, Terrell Hendricks, Tone Brooks, and Zaki Kabir. Now, there is one person I do not see on this roster, Andre That's Robertson right. Jr., not used to seeing a, a Lakers roster Robert, without Andre Robertson Jr. Uh, I'll, you got it. Go walk, walk, go ahead. Walk, no, walk, go ahead. So I don't, I don't have much to say about this team. Um, this team has always been very competitive. I feel like with Terrell Hendricks on their team, anytime any team he's played for has always had a chance. No matter if people like the way he plays or not, you know. Um, my thing is, is that you can say whatever you want about his game, about what he does on the offensive end. He's going to do it on the other end. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever he doesn't do on the offensive end, he's going to make it up on def- defense. He's going to lead your team in blocks and steals and, and be topping rebounds. And, like, you can always respect somebody that when they realize whether they're shooting good, he'll have 40 and still have those blocks and steals. It's not like he like, well, I only got two points. Let me go do it. It's like, I'm going to do this whether I'm scoring good or I'm not scoring at all. He's going to rebound, defend, all of that. So, I think with... Him at the helm of his wildness is, reminds me how Westbrook be playing. <laughs> it reminds yeah. me how Westbrook yeah. be playing in the midst of because he has no real structure to his game. It just works. He just ball. It just he just ball like. But you gotta unleash him to let him play. Like, if Tone Brooks can step up, which we know he can, and JJ Calvin needs to play. Oh, I need JJ Calvin I need to, him to get a backbone. Jeez. I need him to just play more than big man. Because JJ is much more impactful at the forward big, position than he is at center position. Y'all got a pillow. <laughs> That's but other than that, I don't really, I don't know where the Lakers are going to end up. Um, you said Marcus Gibbs. I heard somebody told me he was good. Um, told me he was good. What you got for So I did see Zabi Zaki Zaki Kabir yesterday at at the open run at the church. He okay, was a small guard. He, yeah. So. Um, I I know you 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 say he makes it up on defense, which he does. He should arguably well, he was defensive player of the year last year, right? So was he? Who? Terrell? Terrell? Yeah, yeah. So yes, he makes it up on defense, but that doesn't 
the gate some of his shot, shot selections that that isn't good for the game no, in bad. that moment. Because <laughs> even though yes, he makes it up on defense. Nineteen for thirty-two is good. <laughs> even though he. It, I, I ain't talking about what he. I'm talking. I, they just they, yeah, had a, they had a little. They had a little argument oh, yeah, oh, about that about him and D Bradley like. Oh yeah. The two shots. Talking like, about him and Brody. Yeah. yeah Thirteen for thirty one. Yeah, yeah. You did me and stuff. So that that was a little joke. So he, he's definitely arguably the one of the top players in the league, probably the uh, top player in the league. You can say you know, that going into this season. So like, well, I don't know. That's uh, that could be argued, but anyway, uh, debated. Where's the hype? Lost that. They never had it. They've so never had now it. Now you got a league now that has height that can run too. Like you have height that runs too. And now you we still relying on just that and that's the problem with JJ that everyone is talking about. Man, JJ did JJ. But JJ y'all have to understand JJ is taking that role as a big man, so it's like he, he he's trying to Play that big man role, which he's not a and, big man, and, and he has to play that because who else? So, and they rely solely on athleticism, which in this league they yeah, always they, they, so far. they always been there, but they never been there. Yeah, been over the hump. Yeah, yeah. They after the third week they get Antonio Dyson for what I've heard. That that would be huge. For them. That that definitely would be huge for them. Dog. So, like, I. I I think they can be good because they always decently good defensively. Uh, I want to see this Marcus Gibbs guy if he's good. Adam Benson, anybody? Adam Benson, I think it's a. I think that's a big guy. Big guy. So I mean, I'm, I I'm, think. Don't quote me on that. I'm interested to see. This is um, giving Miami all over again. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What you I want to say all that. Boy. No, just like I don't really. They they lost like. This is not like when you – now that you just read off – You the lost games, the offseason. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 like now that when – you seen how you just mentioned the Lakers and everybody was just like – Did they look – we don't know Marcus Gibbs. We don't know – And that's what I'm saying. We didn't know nobody on the Heat. I didn't I didn't know too much. Of it, so it was one of those like – I mean, we knew Yahoo. Oh, okay, though. in that sense. Guys, that's guys, what I'm guys, saying. Guys, like guys, it's guys. given like – I wouldn't say new faces, new cases, but it's like, okay. No. Y'all lost – Yeah, Show it's us like something. y'all lost a lot of for me. Like – D, nowhere. LaDre, not there. Um, and once again, like you said, relying on athleticism through Tone, um, through um, T- um, Terrell. Terrell, through, and that was their problem last year. Last year, honestly, you didn't need JJ to be a big man. I don't know why they gave him that sense of role. If my boy Jeremy Ruffin would have stayed, who also played in that league for, with Johnny Fox and with KB and all, yeah, like if Jeremy Ruffin would have stayed, this would have been a whole different team last year. And He's so, a true big. And so it was like, because if you think about it, JJ's really did. more so a timid version of Terrell. He can do a lot of those the things athletic stuff. Terrell yeah. can do. JJ can shoot. JJ can dunk. JJ can get to the. I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't grew up watching JJ, and I'm older than JJ. I like JJ, but seeing him last season, very and I said it a lot. He disappointed me, and now that I know why y'all why you played a role that you didn't even have to play. Y'all had D Bradley down there. Y'all had Tone Brooks down there. Grab You had to rip. You had those three dudes, and Tone's not even that tall, but he was grabbing boys. He grabbed the boys that he needs to grab. Oh, he was all there. The, I mean, real so world. JJ, they always you, crashing the back. And so it was like, JJ, you being the big man was uncalled for. I wanted you to shoot. I used to yell out. Not They used to yell at me up top when I used to literally, I used to shoot. They, you can't do that. My bad. He was one of those fan favorites who I lost. Mm-hmm. You know how you drop people from your fantasy team? Mm-hmm. He got dropped. Dang, not JJ getting dropped from fantasy team. This year, for the Lakers to have more success, JJ, you need to shoot more than three shots a game. <laughs> no, like, sheesh, like, that's it? That's a, I don't think I shot more than three shots a game. <laughs> I, I, I know why Dre Jr. left the Lakers. Anyone else know? He's... He couldn't, heard he, he, couldn't bring, he couldn't bring anybody he wanted to over there from what he said. I, I know a real reason. What's the real reason? Or school. Because number 17 is still on the team and his dad didn't want to let him go. Oh, I didn't say that. Sorry, Devontae. No, dang. 
I, I'll play Tay Tay. <laughs> yeah. I'll play with Tay Tay any day. I'm sorry. That that's that's that will talk to me. I can, I can play with Tay. Tay didn't even play. My point exactly. I would have let him go. So he's saying you put someone on the team, you keeping someone that didn't, didn't even play even a lot. When well, we can go get someone that can you produce. still could have got somebody with him on the team if he wasn't well, he, gonna play. But it, it's not about still getting someone. It's about letting him just go because he's not benefiting us. That's how Dre felt. That's that's that, I get how you feel, but he's the, that was that's I'm not gonna use the, my opinion on somebody else's feelings because everybody's validated for their own feelings. For I know reasons. I get you. I'm but not saying you wrong. I'm just saying I know nobody's but that's, wrong. Nobody's but that, wrong when but, it comes to feelings. But when, wrong. but when your emotions don't make sense is when I have an issue. It's like if if I know why you're upset about something and it makes sense, cool. But like him, if you don't want somebody on the team, let's say he didn't want. Tay Tay, or whatever the case may be. If Tay Tay wasn't playing anyway, and he just wants to be on the team, just to be around, just to, like, if he's not playing, what does that affect you? But that Your guy can come and play. If he's there or not there, whether he, if he doesn't play, it doesn't matter. No, you're but right. It, that's the part, right. that, that's the part that, that I'm when like, you that got, when you got dad, son, going back and forth with that, and he... I can tell how that conversation part. No, I'm keeping him. No, Dad, he don't need to be on our team. There's no but point. I'm keeping there's him. no point. And, and, and I know that. I, I know Dre, that. Look, Dre saying so, there's no point. So when that no happens, point. that just goes out the window. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm thinking like all logic went out the window. Forget about it all. Oh, bro, it, it, it was all or nothing. And, that was it. And, but but like I said, that's. I, on, I do. I get on both ends. I like. I like the move. I like Dre. They keep back the last season. How they beat the star. Tay hit the Tay hit the game. Right. And I'm gonna tell you why. Even before and then, I'm gonna he, tell, he, and I'm gonna tell you why. And I said it to everybody. I said, y'all know what y'all problem was. I said, and the crazy thing was, me and Lidre actually kind of talked about it. I said, I seen the way y'all set that up. I said, y'all put Tay in for a reason. They was like, why? I said, because Poot and them had their best five on that court, and they seen Tay get in the game. Tay was already in the game, then he got out, and then he got right back in. They looked at Tay. As a non-factor, mm-hmm. they that was Puda's defense. Was so that was Puda's defense, and like you said, he was wild. He would lose the ball. He he was their hustler. That's who Tay was. And I will honestly say, I probably would have kept him off the strength that he was one of them guys. You go ahead and get five thousand. Man, you want to. Ah, give me. You Tay. can get five thousand if you want to. Give but me I seen Devontae you hustle Martin. for that ball, and Tay was a non-factor to everybody. He didn't get no yeah, points. Like none too. of that. He was a hustler, though. I like that. He was a hustler because of hustling. He got to the ball. He executed. If somebody told him he needed to do it, he did it. He didn't say nothing back. None of that. So it was one of those, like you said, it was one of those that was between them two things. I don't think Dre should have left. He still could have got who he needed. But like you said, we kind of know personally how that argument went. Mm-hmm. We're not going to bring that into conversation. All so. right, we we gonna we gonna move on because we don't want to. You know, that's that's their own thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, I but but I think. It, but at the way. very end of the day, the team that he went to, guys, is the team we're about to talk about now, and that's the Nets. <laughs> we got Andre Robinson Jr. We got Black Binion. We got D. Bradley, Jared Harris. We got Jerry Chills Wills, the coach, the longest reigning coach. I think him and Matt have been coaching since the beginning. JT, I think. No, JT hasn't. But him and Matt, I think one and two. Uh, maybe Caleb. Mm-hmm. And then you got uh, Lavelle McIntosh, who is a stud. Most people in the area know who this guy is. I, I, he was in the league once, and I saw him. I didn't see him play, but he had like 28 or 27. I didn't see the game, though. No and I'm like, okay, well, this guy can hoop. But he had to go play in school, so he mm-hmm. couldn't play for the rest of the league. I go to Olivet, and I have an open run, and he's on my team. And I don't recognize him because, I, like I say, I've seen his numbers and stuff, but I never saw put a face to anything. And he's on my team, and he's passing me the ball, being real, you know, like just being just a team player, like, in the moment. And then we end up losing, and he ended up getting picked up. Well, we won, but I guess he picked up another team or something like that. And I'm playing against him. I'm like, this dude can jump out the gym. This dude can shoot the ball, <coughs> mid-range and deep ball. He has vision around the court. He's strong. He's not a weak guy. That boy can ball. It's just and, and he has a bag. He's unorthodox. Very. And he has a bag. Left and right hand. He's very unorthodox. Yeah, his shot is very weird. I give it that. But it but it in that tryout, when he was at the tryout, he didn't miss. 
you you were on you were resting on that side. He didn't miss nothing. Like he didn't miss anything. Like no jumper. He didn't miss not one. I was like, okay. Well, he we knew he could ball, but he making it look easy. But after Lavelle, you have another bucket. L.J. Harris, who stays. Maurice Terrell. We have Quan Shaw, who came from the Bucks, and then we have Coach East Ronnie Jackson, my boy, uh, as well. I have not much to say about this team. I love this roster. I actually like it too. I love it. I don't I like it. I love it. it. No, I'm, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm Dre, Ju- Dre Jr. and Black. and 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 Black with L.J. And, and you still got Lavelle, and then no, you got D in the mid. Like the subs is going. That's going to be. Great. It's not going to be a change in tempo when it comes to those subs. You have guards. You have shooting. You have inside presence with Quan Shaw. You have outside presence with. Um, right. That's probably going to be their weakest part. That's probably going to be the weakest part of their game. Is the shoot? Is the three point shooting? Because they got it on defense. Yeah, the, I mean, and that's not saying that they're going to be a bad three point shooting team. No, that's just the worst part of that. That's it's if, three point. And but, you can still knock it down. So, but they 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 inside their three point line. It's so insane. Nobody is. It's insane. D. Bradley, Quan Shaw, Lavelle, L. J. Ronnie, Ronnie, you know, yeah, Ronnie, that's anything my inside the three point line is crazy. Me. That's my old. And if they run, right and if they run a zone on defense, who doing anything? They don't have to because they got Dre and Black, they so they gonna sit. You know what I'm saying? Mean. But. They if they run, if they run a zone, if they decide to run a zone, they, they have the the manpower to move they in the zone. Look, we we are about to witness our first team that play a full court man. Man, they no, they got it fast. They got no, it. We're gonna witness fast. our first team that pick up full court man fast. probably good portion of the game because LJ in Drake, shape, backward. Dre in shape, um, Quan in shape. Lavelle, Lavelle in, in shape. shape, Black. He's still playing in school in shape. D shape. I don't Ronnie. even know who the starting five would be. Man, I would guess Dre, LJ, Lavelle. Well, what I was told by Quan and D, that dude right there, Dre, LJ, because Black not gonna be there first week. Okay, so Dre, LJ, D, Quan and Quan Ville. and um and Vail, Yeah, that got to be the five. However, my only thing is, will Jared be able to buy in to not being like Jared, Jared, basically? Like, is he going to be like, all right, y'all the young studs, go ahead, do y'all thing. When I get in, I'm going to do what I got to do, and then go there. The reason I say that, he is, they all faster than Jared. Jared is very slow. You're not as slow Jared, as you think. Jared, Jared is very slow. <laughs> You're not Jared, as slow as you think. Jared, me and Jared have been playing ball since we was kids. Um, Jared has his hamstrings don't move fast. <laughs> like he has gotten faster than what he used to be. But I would like for Jared to, like you said, know that role. Like you said, y'all the young guys do what y'all do. But when I get in, I ain't gonna say give me the ball. But let me do what I do. Jared has always had the best float game. I've never seen, ever since middle school, never seen him miss float games. You know, like he has a nice floater. He has a nice touch. He knows that. I'm with you, Cortez. Is he going to, like you said, that by in? Is he going to be able to let them do them? I would say coexist. That's what I would say, coexist. Because Jared... I know Jared. I know how he plays. I know his attitude. And I know what can trigger him when it comes to playing. Mm -hmm. Especially with playing with other guys that can maybe do what he do, either better or less, but might get the same or more playing time. And that's what it and that's always what it came down to when it came to playing Kinky High School. They had, but it always came down, can I play with this dude and still be cool with what I'm doing? I feel Can like, we be cool? Can we still do what we do and be cool without one of us asking for the ball more? One of us getting out? How long somebody's staying in? That's always been a key. Factor. I think it's just gonna be flow. They gonna go. I think they just gonna play based off who's performing. But I'm gonna go back to at the beginning of the green with you all. Um, I think the Nets might be my favorite. 
I like, like this roster a lot. I like that roster. I like how Quan was. Once you had mentioned Quan, great pickup. That, that he's just, the only thing about Quan though, and I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna let you burn. You say what you gotta say. Is um, Quan can be a vortex down down low. So not. I mean, he's very. His back to the basket. Like he, for him to be his size and with like almost like a. A, a like a pro guard body, mm-hmm. but like a, a, a college center body. You know what I'm saying? Not a college center, but like you know what I'm saying? Like a mm-hmm. mid level college center body. He's able to put his back to the basket and score at a high level, like at a very high. So like cave, like I think it's Kavos, then it's Quan. Like <laughs> if you ask me, as far as turning your back to the basket, like mm-hmm. Kavos when he turns his back to the basket, it's money. I don't, I don't see nobody stopping that. Like nobody, I don't care. He got too many up fakes, toe taps, you know, reverse layups, whatever. His bad, and then he know how to sell the foul too. Quan, his weakest part was free throw shooting, and then Shoot. and now he's starting to make more free throws. So like that, that inside being able to toss the ball down low and able to get a bucket or try to force some type of double to create some imbalance is huge for them. And then it's him huge for them. A lot of muscle. Yeah, muscle. I agree. What you got, your Brian? I don't got much else to add more than what y'all said. I do. I love the roster improvement. It is a definitely an improvement for last season, and they was tough last season. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be even tougher. We've had a lot of teams that we won two and three. <laughs> this might be a three. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. The Nets are – this is a team I'm looking forward to seeing play. But I think I really want to see the Sixers play more than everybody. The Sixers and the, um, and the Hornets. I got to see that. Oh my god. All right, the next team we have, guys, is the Spurs who went to white. Are you total? I think I did. Am I right? Yeah, did I'm they go white you. or did they go Okay, whatever. They they, they have a color there. change. I might be wrong about the color though. <laughs> but they have a color. This is another team with a color. No. <laughs> no they I think they went to white, but regardless, they got a color change. No, they did. They to okay, they did. Okay. Um this team looks pretty. I ruined it. <laughs> this yeah. team, you this suck. team, <laughs> y'all got one of them. Okay, You're lucky. But anyway, uh, Dennis Coger, number two, um, number six, Jeremy Davis, number one, Martavius Puda Laster, Matt Cunningham, Michael Bradford is coming back for them. Dog Octavius Davis always been good. Phil and Drady to the Spurs. My boy, that was Phil. a That's big a nice pick pickup up for them. Still got Sammy Hines and still got Trey Johnson. So this first team is, I think, extremely. Um, so they lost. They 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 got better. I think they got better. They lost. I think they got better. They lost. They lost John Jameer and the other big guy. John Jameer and um. Oh, that's it. That's it. Also John Jameer. No, John Jameer. That's it. Because after this whole, the only two replacements are Phil and Micah. Right. So it was just John and Jameer. So I think I, t- I mean Micah over. No, they lost the third person. No, the oh, big the- guy. Um, not Trey. John. John Martin. I'm thinking of the Nets. No, yeah, yeah no, I'm no, John, John, and I'm thinking so, of the dude off the Nets. More Troy. Yeah, Troy, Troy, went, to yeah. War, yeah. Troy went to Warriors. Troy went to Warriors for sure. And we'll get to that. But now this team, I think you replace uh, Jameer with Micah. I like that pick. And then you yeah. replace uh, Phil with John, John Martin. He's a faster John. I think that's. I think that Phil he, he's is a, definitely. He's a, he's a slight. I wouldn't say slight, but he's a shorter, faster John. He can and he can and he can. Yeah, he that's can really shoot. it. He he's does everything at a faster pace. Well, I believe the only way that this would be an elite team is if I, um Puda buy in. To play in the two Michael. guard position, well, well let Michael play the one. Yes, yeah. let Michael play the one because for one, Michael is a better passer, and he reads the floor better better. facilitator. Mm-hmm. Way better facilitator. Let Puda play the two because he. If Puda y'all know the lights out, Puda will shoot. He shoot, out. and he's a downhill downhill player. Mm-hmm. He just wants to go down. He's not a good passer. We all know that he knows that. He want to give, but he's still an elite down. downhill player. He can shoot. On this carpet, a nice steady paced team too. Like you got your your fast, um, Micah Puda, Phil. He has some nice speed on him. Uh, if, Sam, Sammy. if Sammy got a good, if Sammy have a good season, it's there. It's, you know, there. it's there. It's there. I mean, it's there. You know, and I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to playing devil's advocate. Sammy like don't you start. Said, 
Duh. That'd be Beyonce. Same Beyonce. Same no, he I should. Thought. I mean, him coming off the bench is probably great for them. That'd be the perfect for it's them. Great for him coming because he, he can come out as a six. Do you understand that? Oh, he will have to. No, nah, because you that's me your, personally because that's, that's my cousin. No, because who are you gonna start over? Because I'm and well, this we know guy. that. I'm saying he, yeah. he's coming up. He's, yeah, Phil. Yeah, have, you got to start Phil. He's gonna have to Phil and Trey between and but that's and that's With gonna Dennis be that's gonna be day two. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. Phil, Phil and Sammy are gonna be game to game. Who's gonna want it more to start? Man, I'm no, sorry. no, 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 no. I gotta stop you all. What's the name? Phil not starting. Phil not starting. Okay. Oh, well, well. Well. It's odd. I'm gonna say because I'm gonna say because if you so got you have I'm, Mike, so you if you Mike got Puda, Phil and Sammy coming off the bench, that's you, tough. You, you, you have a tough. You have three Michael Puda, Phil, Sammy, and Jeremy, right? Yeah. Well, you're gonna start Michael Puda, Dennis, Ock, and Trey. Yeah, that's Ock, Ock, is, right Ock is so consistent though. You gotta play him. Well, Ock, Ock is show four. Ock is the the, the ten Ock Duncan. Four. Yeah. Ock is the ten Duncan from yeah. Spurs. If I put it in my order, Mike at the one, Puda at the two, Dennis at the three, Dennis at the three, Ock at the four, Ock at the four. Ock at the four. Ock and Trey, Trey at the five, five. automatically. I like, feel, I like Phil. I like Phil. And then, and then, and then, I mean, your, yeah, eventually, and then your subs would be Ock for Sammy. More than likely, it'd be Ock for Sammy, um, Dennis for Phil, or Puda. More than likely, and then they switch off if Mike and Nisa break Puda stay in. They just go bring him in. Like G just come in. G could come in, doing? and I need G to start playing like he playing. It's more one legged threes, G. Oh, not even man. Shoot the ball, G. <laughs> G knows you shoot that thing. What you got for these Spurs, man? Um, they were the team I had picked to win the championship last year. Didn't work out for them, but this is they pretty much kept the same roster, just adding Micah so and, and Phil. So I definitely got them in the championship conversation again this year. Yeah, they're always there, always in that. Now game. keep in mind though. Last time Michael was here, he didn't have a good season. He I did. See him. He was he, he, he was he, literally just taking all jumpers. He like, told me. He, he was he like, was I'm poo. not doing this. He was poor. He like he was bad. He played with it was Gerald. Bad. He was horrible. Yeah, so, Gerald was playing bad too. Yeah, both of them was poor. What? Yes. Both of them was playing bad. On the on the Spurs. On the Spurs. Was playing bad. And but <laughs> Michael ended up leaving because he had to go. He had uh, to go back. He got to go yeah. back to either school or no. He went back to school. He went back to school yeah. at that time. Yeah, he went. He went to um, Southern. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he went back he to went school. Back so he ended up leaving. But that was um, no, he didn't. He only played one game, and it was that against was, us. We went to crazy. overtime. We went to overtime yeah, with them. That was when Daryl Harris mm-hmm. had hit that game, that winner. And those Darryl, are, even when Daryl oh, had yeah, the yeah. layup to send them to, to overtime. And Micah is a nice duo. So you hear that that well, I heard. That Gerald supposed to be on the on the third on the third one, yeah. Okay, all right. So we're gonna right. move. We got two teams left, and one of those two teams is the Thunder. Probably most probably had the biggest swing, I would say, toward the end of the season. Them and the Heat probably yeah, had the yeah, two biggest yeah. swings at the end of the season. Um, it took the last two games. They didn't win those last few games, I don't think. But I think that the Thunder like really was amped up. Based on the way they was playing, but you have Coach Antoine Tanky Blandin, you got Bryant Tansy, my boy B Lee, you got Cam Bell, you got Cassius Springer, you got Sir Fleming, who I think is the younger brother of Antoine of Tanky. You have mm-hmm. Devin yeah, Vint, you have that's Sir, yeah. You have Devin Vint, you have Jacque Springer, you have Skylar Kudrup, who I'm gonna get to later, and then you got Vito Croswell, which is Aaron's younger brother. Aaron's younger brother. So, um, I'm be honest, I ain't got nothing to say. I don't think they got better. Nope. I think, yeah, actually, me personally, I think they got worse. I don't think they got better. They, they lost their bucket. Dyson. They lost their bucket. Yeah. You lost King of the Court. Can, but, I heard he, he was good. He wasn't that bucket until the last two games. Though, he, so. he, who, who, that's true. Who, who, who was who, it? No, Dyson. Dyson. Defense. Dude, I would defensively, say he definitely defense. was there. They're going to miss him on defense But if sure. you think about it, he was they bucket whole time. They didn't know how to use him. They didn't give him the ball. Me, personally. Until they found out. Until they found But it was just like, you can't find out unless you give somebody the ball. I'm doing king of the court from now on. Like, <laughs> Antonio needed the ball from the beginning of the season. But y'all was so set in stone on who's known. Like, y'all was so set on. And I'm not. And I'm, this is, may sound like I'm playing devil advocate. But I like 
Y'all was set in stone on Nate. Y'all was set in stone with Devin. Um, set in stone. Tanky had his own little personal drive. So he was set in stone on himself playing in the game. Um, who else did Bino? Um, Bino. Set in stone with Bino. Y'all were set in stone with players that were very, very, very inconsistent. The only person that was there every game was Devin. Nate played the first Dubs game. Dubs was there every game. That was the crazy part. Dubs was there every game. Dubs was there almost every game. He was there almost every game. He might have missed I'm one saying, game. But he was inconsistent in the game. Dubs was, Dubs was young. Don't even say that. Du- and Dubs was young. Yeah, that's Once again, OKC, please pick up veterans. Y'all can't think y'all finna come in here with all these young Dudes, and just because no, go pick up somebody who knows this how to is run a this very court. young team. I Everybody. think Brian Tansy, the oldest player on this team, yes, and he my age. BT Listen, is the I, oldest person. I don't know. I don't know who Cam Bell is. However, I, man, I'm gonna be honest. Let it go. I mean, I had Cashes and serve on my AU team. Yeah, Cashes is a is a good player. But he played with grown men. That, that was, again, he played with grown that. men. And Tanky, no offense to serve, he not he ready finna, for this. He finna get home. He not ready. Like, this ain't this ain't Skylar Park. Like, and this, this ain't Hidden Cove. Like, this is a whole nother dynamic. If he if he wasn't playing big minutes for us, mm-hmm. what makes you think he going to play big minutes in this league? And so, I, that, that spot you could have... Tried to go get a veteran. Two. I, I understand. I, like they I should get have it. Picked up but. two veterans, like brother or not. Same with Cassius. Cassius and Jaquise, blood cousins. But like you said, I'm gonna be honest. This may, yeah. This is these are area guys that we're playing with. You know what I'm saying? But this is actually a league. This is not no pickup. This is not 2K black tie. I, I can't. So so I'm gonna be. So I'm gonna play devil's advocate for this one because I kind of feel I can't. I can't agree. I, I even if I wanted to agree with y'all, I can't because I came in as a coach three years ago, and you tell me who the oldest player on my team was. I don't even know. Me. I wasn't there. Like I had all youngins. Like like we not not this young maybe, but we were like they didn't they ain't played in Kanky Key before. But it's not that. Who you talking about? You talking about Chris and them? Yeah, I mean, Chris and them played. They, 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 Chris, is 20, Chris, Chris is 23 saying, years old. We're talking about Tyler Webb. This, and this He's ain't never, Chris or Chad. Oh, well, or yeah. Chad. Okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about like just the team. I'm like, this whole no, team. No, no. Talking, He's 19. We're about, but we're, talk, we're not even talking about age. We're talking about level playing. Of level okay, well, playing. no. We, they, we play ball. So, yeah, I, I give That's what it's, 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 I'm not talking. You could be sick. Luca. He didn't play with grown men all his life. It's it's one of those. It, none of these guys, outside of playing at Hidden Cove, has played that level with grown men. They don't under a whistle at like that. These dudes are about to get beat up, and I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm not saying that to down y'all, but these are grown. You're, we not finna sit here and hear no crying. None of that. If y'all go play, y'all go play. These are young dudes who only play with guys kind of their age, nothing older. And if it was older, like I said, it was pickup games that wasn't really taken serious at Hidden Cold. What you what you think? Um, I don't think a team necessarily got better, but I do think they can win one or two more games more than they did last season. How many did they win? Two? Like two. Two? Right yeah. they be. I don't see them beating. Well, one was one was from a forfeit, and then the other one they <laughs> they won in the they so won they, in the playoffs. They might have to forfeit two more games. <laughs> But I think they I think, hopefully I think we don't get no fourth place this year. Three wins because they kind of pulled it together at the end of last season. Although they got a lot of new additions, so they got to work on that chemistry again, getting back together. But and I'm talking a lot yeah. because I picked this team but a Tank, lot last year. And Tanky did get better with his substitutions coming to the end of the they season. They need a coach, so he. No offense, Cortez. He got he got he got a little. With you. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm so much joking. Please do not take. But no. Okay, see, they do need a coach. They so need a coach. If, if the Tanky continues and to get better, like as he did, toward, like as all season long last year, and continues that path to get him better, they can win a couple more games. Because all the games they at the end of the season, it came down to close games, and they would just come back coaching. Yeah, but you had Nate. 
You yeah. had Nate Bino and Antonio Dyson and well, Bino wasn't there. Well, but when he was, was there, same with you know, what I'm saying when, when he was there, when him and Nate and was one there, of those if KJ, came, if KJ right. would have one of those was KJ, and when KJ came, the win on him. and yeah. that was then he only lost by two because it was a three off, tr- and so it was just like they had their key players and that they all. Not this Cam Bell person is good. I me personally, I, I would have been, I I been okay with them combining with the Hawks. Either team could have dropped, and they could have picked up a couple people. The from Thunderhawks, the please. The Oklahoma Atlanta Thunderhawks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I'm gonna just talk about this Skyler Kudrup guy. He was the standout at that tryout. That's my boy. One hundred percent the standout at that tryout. I want to mention that if I had to give a tryout to MVP, got a picture of him? um, yeah, it's, yeah. But if you, his athleticism is insane. Yeah, I've I've I ain't gonna lie. I've seen people do it, but it's it's only maybe That's been him. bro, yeah, bro. He bro. He threw okay. the ball up. So Trey, you gotta hear me out. You you see I, how he I, is right there. That's, that's what I'm a, saying. That's I, a real jump. I done, I seen a couple. Videos and he likes and he like six two. I, okay, I had to know him by face. He only I, like six one. Six I know two. him by face. Like know of him by face. Bro, he threw the ball up, and it it bounced right in front of the free throw line. I said he not gonna go get that. Like, it's too far up and mm-hmm. back. Bro, when I tell you he jumped and, like, body was like a crescent, like a moon, grabbed the ball and flushed it down with two hands, I said, bro, Get what? D- then he threw another one, bro. It was low. Two-hand windmill. I said, yeah, no, this man is insane. But, but no. But he also, was like that. But I'm, but I'm only saying that to say, like, Jacquees is just as athletic. If you They're saying I was just going to but. Say, Skyler has game, like real game. Like he didn't he hit a game winner to win the whole. He hit the game winner to win the whole little tryout. Like it was on one shot. We had so much time left. He literally put it in between his legs, rose up from three, and won the, his his team the tryout. Like we split him in four teams. Right, right, right. He right, won right. the championship game for the tryout with that. No, I was like, okay, so he got guts. So he got guts too. Like he not just no athlete, but I'm. Real, real small, real mm-hmm. small, real little. Mm-hmm. So he could. He, he hit that. Man, he he hit that. His daughter and my daughter was running that playing wrestling. Look, like, hit that growth spurt and it was yeah. wrapped. Yeah. No, we didn't see a trick. He jumped out the gym for sure. Mm-hmm. But that's that's what, what I got for the Thunder. That's the guy I want you all to keep your eyes on. You might see him on the K one highlight top ten. You might see him on the Player of the Week. Because who got most improved player? Uh, Jacquees. Jacquees. Okay, Jacquees. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last team, the returning champs. We have the Warriors. We have Antonio Marshall. We have Brooke Shum, who had played for the Bulls mm-hmm. last season, which is a great one. Yeah. Charlie Hall, my boy, came back after having that one good game in that four and five. He kept a minute until they could take over. <laughs> you got Aaron Hall. To, I don't know what to say. The second two, whatever. Aaron Hall, the, too. Why you got to be so confused, my boy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got Harry Marshall, who I'm shocked to see on the roster. I, I kind of didn't even look at the rosters Love for real. Harry. I kind of like yeah, wanted to be surprised. Yeah, since you put me on, man. <laughs> um, Harry Marshall, one of the best, one of the best defenders two I've way. watched play. It's two like two way. way man, all two way. He'll take that ball from you for sure. Slash. Lonzel Mason, who left the Nets, he's played for the Warriors before, I believe, and now he's back to yeah. the Warriors. Um, you have Miko Sullivan Senior, who definitely they needed to retain. You have Teandre Watson. You have Troy Louis and Coach Tyree Mosley. This is still a top team. Yeah. Still a top team in this league. Yeah. There's um as long as they have what they lost though was Latrell. And we all know that he is a two way. He can shoot the ball in offense, he can finish right. in offense, get rebounds. But his biggest con- contribution was shot blocking. Um just we're protecting the rim. He might not have gotten led the league in blocks. That but might be but what he downfall. but what he but you gotta understand Rudy Gobert would have led the league in more blocks had people took more layups. Do you get what I'm saying? He's down there, so people aren't taking layups. But now that we just went through all these rosters, we have a lot of point guards that take it to the rim. Yeah, and now he can get more blocks. Like, you got these explosive point guards that's going to, like, and with role playing, a lot of these point guard, shooting guards are not. We are now, for me personally, we're going to start seeing real shooters. Real point shooting, guards. yeah, shooting is gonna have to be better in this league, especially right. with the size and, and real protection. point guards. I don't, you know, what I'm saying this past season we had point guards doing both, 
this season, we're actually going to see true point guards, true shooting guards. Like, everybody's going to – this is probably going to be the season where everybody's going to have one role, one position, maybe two. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking I, forward to Brooks. I'm looking, looking forward to, to I like because I liked Shun when he was on. Oh, another jersey color change for this team. Won't say which one. I love I love I love Lord. seeing Shun when he was on the Bulls. Yeah, Shun, the streets need a body. Shun gonna deliver it. No, ah, oh famous. my God, right, famous. I tell you this. I I got the yeah. worst of it. I got the worst of it. Yeah. Oh man, he tip dunked over somebody. I can't remember who it was. It was so nasty. I was like, this man definitely gonna get it. But him. another top team that didn't really, they didn't lose nothing. If you think about it, they just lost the interior presence. They just lost the rim protector. That was it. But I mean, I don't see anybody here that's capable of protecting the rim necessarily. Is, but is I mean, coach playing or he? Or he's oh, just you think coaching? he just finna coach? <laughs> hey. You think Mr. Pull it from another zip code finna just coach? I mean, hey. Nah, he's gonna play. If he don't play, they don't win. You sure? I'm positive. Uh, you positive? I'm positive. I think, I think with the new addition they added, I don't they know. That's kind of hard to say. Me I, I think him being out there draws so much attention away from other players. Because like, did he miss a game last season? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No. He's he's going to show up. And Miko and Trail. Him and Miko. Like, Miko, like, yeah. And Trip, yeah. They showed up every game. Uh, with the new addition they added, that will also help keep five on the court for them so they don't have to play games with just four people. Because I don't think Antonio Marshall is going to play every game. Um, Harry probably won't be there every game. Yeah, Harry probably won't be there every game. So the their point guard is going to be Tyree. Yeah. Tyree's going to be their point guard. He's going to bring the ball up the floor. He's going to give giving a lot of give and goes, a lot of a lot of give it up off ball screen, relo- relocates. Well, I mean, for what I've seen and experienced these last couple weeks, Dut has been working. Like Good. he has been getting Good. back in shape. Yeah. Shout out to Dut. Shout, Shout out Dutt in the gym. And Shout out Dutt to Dutt. was. Probably arguably one of the best point guards in this area. Um, Shooters too, school, for sure, definitely. So it ain't just gonna be Tyree bringing the ball up. They're gonna bring the ball up. Duck's still smart. See, and that's Dutt what people great. don't understand. Duck is a smart player. Even when he had a bum knee last year, he he sustained a whole half on a bad knee, and they were still in the game. Yep. Outside of so him playing, like don't don't. Great coach. Duh is definitely Great coach. gonna be a factor because he can shoot it. He can he can shoot, he shoot, can shoot the, ball. the ball. So Aaron is gonna do his job. See, Aaron is that Boy, type guys. of player. Swiss Army knife. He's just gonna do his job. He Teandre, gonna do, he's gonna he do, do his, his job, job when he's in the game. Go get to that I believe Troy gonna, Louis is a big pickup for them as well. I think he can kind of unleash. That's, and I, that's another guy that can play that's point who guard. That's I was talking. That's about. another yeah. guy that can play point guard. He can dribble. Troy Louis get the, hey, oh, he he can shoot the three. Troy can play. <laughs> Troy is much better than what he's shown. Much better than what he's shown. And it's because of the role he had to play for the Nets. I played against Troy for the first time in an open gym. Like, first, one of the strongest guards I've ever had to guard. Great jump shot, so you can't sag off of him. Then if you get too close to try to guard him, he's going to bully his way to the basket. And his vision. He can see the floor. And he's probably, his body language is probably one of the best I've seen. I've never seen him hang his head. I ain't never seen him, like, make nobody else feel bad for anything. Like, he don't even, when he, he misses really a shot. He talk. He actually when, don't talk. When he misses a shot, usually people be like, dang. Or, ah. I'm, Troy, just next play. Yeah, that's, he don't talk. Next he, play. He, like, he just he be like, that's me. Yeah, that's it. Boom. And that'd be that. He acknowledge he, it in the and moment. Like, and be he gone. don't talk. Like, when he was on the Nets, as much as, as much as Jared and Mook and all them talk, he didn't talk at all. Like he didn't talk much at all. He didn't talk. He didn't argue with nobody. If he missed something, he'd be like, he'd go like that. And there was a bad fouls on him too. He could have. And he didn't. He didn't say nothing. Yeah. So thank you. The Warriors. Hey, they the champion. They the five. champion until someone. Until somebody beat him. Two years in a row now, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Sucks to suck, Spurs. That's crazy because Puda. Puda, Latrell, Tyree have have all been in the championship game every season they play. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that might change this year. Yes. But it I mean, might, it might yeah, I mean, if the, I mean, the thing is, but look, you got to think about this. It's a better chance for it to happen now because two of they're all on different teams. Right. Mm-hmm. So the Spurs can make it, the Hornets can make it, 
the Warriors. the Warriors can make it. Like it's a better chance for it to happen now, if you ask me. Like if they were on, like if two was on the same team, yeah. Now you only got two teams that could do it. You got some nice pickups, but also no because they're on the same team. So. Cause they, cause when they they went they played for the Warriors, went to the championship, lost. They went to the Spurs team that beat them, and then won. <laughs> and then that won with them. Then they left again, went back to the Warriors with Otis and them. Then won another championship. Then lost Otis and them, and won another championship. Now they split. So it's like wherever Trail and Tyree went, that's where the championship went. Outside of them Spurs championships. All right. We're doing our predictions, I but we could do predictions for first week, and then we can wrap it on up. So, for week one, which is next Sunday, first game, game one of game of sixty six games we played throughout the season. Yeah, sixty six games, man. <laughs> Bucks and Grizzlies at twelve o'clock. And what I will say is there will be uh, their point guard that's playing at all of that. Uh, what's his name again? Landon. He will not be there for this game. Nah. Landon will not be there for this game. So, if it helps you all's predictions. But we got Bucks and Grizzlies. Since this is my team, I won't get a prediction. Obviously, go Grizzlies for me. Bucks and Grizzlies. Mm. Tough. It's a tough, tough pick. But I think I'm going gonna, gonna to go with Bucks week one. Because I want to I wanna see y'all new pieces. I see how mm-hmm. y'all, how y'all get it together. So, I'm going to go with the Bucks week one on this one. Who'd you get, Cortez? I'm going Bucks week one. Did you got Trey? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go Bucks. I'm gonna go Bucks. Okay, I'm Bucks sweep the board. So next game we have the Warriors versus the Heat. I got the Warriors. Warriors. I think we all got Warriors. So. Uh-huh. Even nah, I got the Warriors. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sorry. The Heat. I don't. I don't. I don't think I like that roster at all. I don't think I like it. They they got to show me something. If once they show me, then it is what it is. But I'm just keep it keep it keep it real for now. Cook, cook. All right. <laughs> all right. So next is the Nets and the Bulls. This should be a really good matchup. Um, one team plays defense. One team is going to be better defensively. Um, and it's the first game of the se- season. The Nets have been playing together all off season, so I, I kind of want to go with the Nets based on what I've seen. The Bulls definitely are capable, one hundred percent are capable of beating them because they've always been one of the highest scoring teams. Mm-hmm. And if they can stop the Bulls from shooting the basketball, <coughs> knocking shots down, then the Nets will have it easily because they can get in the transition with these guys and they have more dynamic pieces, um, especially with Dre Junior and LJ and and D. I'm gonna go Nets. I'm going Nets. As long as everybody there, I'm going Nets. I'm going Bulls. Mm-hmm. Where are you going? Dark Horse. Where are you going? All right. Next, we have the Hornets and the Lakers. Uh, Hornets. I'm going Hornets. I already told you, I didn't really. I <laughs> said that I looked at them how I looked at the Heat. I didn't really like what I seen yeah. of what I seen previous. So. No Dre Jr. is is different. It's a big impact, and no D Bradley. I mean, Tone is Tone is gonna play point guard. Is Quill healthy enough to play this year? Quill Quill's been playing. Okay. He's been playing over the Quill's summer. Quill's not a starter for me. Quill can play though. He can play, but he's he play, not. A, he's not a starter for me. He's I like I like him coming off the bench personally. That's what he's not. A, I do I do like that for him. So I think that that his intensity, the way he plays the game, if that comes into the game and you're not ready for that, it'll change the whole game. Mm, so I'm I'm gonna still go Hornets. I'm going Hornets. I'm gonna go Hornets. All right. So far we got majority for the Bucks, majority for the Warriors, majority for the Nets, majority for the Hornets. Now right. we have uh, majority. Okay. Majority, yeah. Then we have Celtics Thunder. Celtics. Celtics. Both of these teams don't look great right now. No Ryan K- Ryan K. Voss will not be there for week one. Celtics. He might. Celtics. <laughs> I heard. I, I talked to Josh earlier. Really. He said he was. Oh, well. Because he's going to get that mask thing. I also said it's going to be black or, white, or the clear one. I think the clear one. Oh, dang it. He we made not, a bet. He better not black face it. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. That's hilarious. I'm going to go Celtics. I'm going to go Celtics. Celtics. I'm going to Celtics too. Now, this game is going to be a Oh, this should be game of the week. Spurs. Spurs and Sixers. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That should be game of the week if you ask me. Micah and Puda versus Brandon and Miles. 
Mm. Then you got John leaving the team and playing against them. Then you got and they gonna know how he works. You know, so it's ah. Uh, that's gonna be that, and that's that's the last game. And I think that what's his name is gonna match up well with Dennis, Miles brother. To be on the TV, on the YouTube. I'm on, on behalf of this the is on the TV. this so is making our prediction. Oh, this is hard. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Mm. Mm. Ah, this is tough. Seventy Sixers taking the lead by storm. <laughs> taking the lead by storm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh man. I'm gonna go Spurs. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna go to safe pick. I'm gonna go safe pick. I'm going safe pick. First game of the season, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Spurs. And look for the guys on the Sixers. Y'all know I love y'all. JT just text me about the open run that he's gonna have. I'm gonna be that soon. Just, just you know, I, I'm going safe pick. Going with the people that were just in the championship. I'm going for the city for brotherly love. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put it to you like this I'm going to take my pick I'm going Spurs This This time But that next meetup I'm going Philly mm. I'm going Spurs So if they meet again, you got I'm, I'm going Philly Because I know it's This game specifically Is going to have me at work Cause I work a double, so I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> day. But if I don't, I'm letting I'm letting the Spurs know this now. Stop sleeping on people. That's how y'all lost last season. To the, they lost to the Bucks. Y'all went in there eight and zero, and y'all got complacent. Y'all got comfortable, and y'all got beat. Y'all think these boys ain't gonna come? 76ers was never bad last year. Never. They just didn't close. They just, like you said, they just now didn't they, close. They got now better. They, got, they closed yeah. us. So I'm going to go Spurs. You can't double Brandon. Bro. You can't double Miles either. No, you can't, you can't double Miles either. You can't double nobody. You can't double Micah either. You can't. Du- mm. You can't. You could double. You, you, Micah, Micah's streaky. You wouldn't. I wouldn't double Micah ever. I would double Puda before I double that, Micah. That's, I would double Puda any day. I'd double Puda I would double, double Micah. Only, only because. I know Puda's quick. I know Puda quicker to pick up that dribble before anything. He's quick to pick Real up talk. that dribble. Real talk. As much as he is just as fast as he can put it down to he go to the right rim, up. he can pick that thing. You right got to try him quick. But them two not even. The the breaking factor is going to be Trey Johnson. Absolutely. How dominant is Trey going to be against Philly yeah, as John. a whole? If he, if he's just out there being like he just was went to the club the night before, they're going to get beat. Mm. They all going to get beat. They so, all going to get beat like that. Coming to Sunday thinking y'all finna have a little breeze from going out on Saturday. Oh, they don't. They I saw just, Trey. I saw Trey out one night. The only night I ever went out in Kankakee after making a post saying I don't. Saying you Kankakee. don't go out. <laughs> saying I don't. You feel me saying I don't saying. go out? Then went out just the next night. My, my my uncle hit me up like, "Hey, I'm trying to go somewhere. You trying? My oh, it's unk. I can't say no to unk. Yes. Like, so I ended up going out and I saw Trey while I was out and we was talking about the league and everything." And I was telling him, I was like, man, we know what you could do. You just be playing around. He said, yeah, bro, I just, I, I feel like I don't have anything. Like, I have no real motivation. I just like playing basketball. And Matt is his boy. So, like, yeah. I'll be there for whatever you need. But, like, if I had some real motivation, like, when people think talking to him is going to motivate him, he's like, it's just silly to me. Because mm-hmm. you know what I do. I know what I do. Like, that's just how he feels about it. As humble as possible, though. But I feel like. He would, his team would need, if his team needed him to do it, he would do it. They haven't needed him to be that necessarily. Everybody else wanted him. They, they, they didn't need it, but they, they didn't did need it. They did last year when the game ain't long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So, so, so let me rephrase that. No, they do, they did, they, they always needed him. But like, his team never expressed to him that they needed him. Like, they wanted to do, they wanted. They like they needed him. Like, 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 we needed. We needed Chad to be a coach at one point because, you know, he understood what was going on in that game. So he s- took a seat out and played everybody else just to coach. We needed him to do it, so he did it. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if you tell Trey what you need from him, he's going to give it to you. So I think if his team can just kind of do that, then he'll kind of be more motivated to, like, do it for his guys. Like, that'll be his motivation. Like, But outside of feeling like he better than you or trying to say that I'm he playing this to be better than – he don't care about that. He do not care about playing this game to be better than nobody. Like, so his motivation is just not what people expect it to be, but it can be there. But, yeah, I'm going to go Spurs. So you got Spurs, you got Sixers. You got Sixers, you got Sixers. So, oh, so Spurs. So we got two Spurs, two Sixers. Yeah. All right, that one's split, y'all. I'm going to see if that be game of the week. You know, a 5 o'clock game being game of the week, though, is crazy. Because last season it was a game that was better than every game before that. That was at that five. That was us, us and the Warriors. No, that wasn't us. That was uh, I can't remember. I think it was like Bulls was and something. Games, yeah. but it was a couple games that was way better. Than Actually, the game. it might be a lot of games. This that season. five o'clock. Game yeah. of the week. I don't even think we should just do games of the week. This season might not. Because look, next week's five of the game. Five of the game. Game of the week is Thunder Grizzlies. So like, yeah, nah. not game of the week, but the five o'clock game. Warriors yeah. Sixers definitely game of the week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe Hornets. It depends on how they, they make. gotta play. The Sixers gotta play the Spurs and the they gotta play the two. They gotta play the Spurs and then the Warriors after that to start hey. the season. Listen, these scheduling go be busting. But look, we play Bucks and then Thunder. I'll take it. <laughs> but it's it don't matter. If that's all. That's that's our predictions, guys. Uh, we have as a unit. We have. Bucks over Grizzlies. Not me. Bucks over Grizzlies. We have the Warriors over the Heat. We have the Nets over the Bulls. We have the Hornets over the Lakers. We have the Celtics over the Thunder. And we're split on the Spurs and the Sixers. Thank you all for being here for the preview. Uh, Hopefully you get through everything. Uh, We did talk a lot about a lot of different things. Since we've been inside and we know these guys, we have a lot to say. Uh, Especially with it being a long offseason. Shout out to Demarius Scott, the GOAT. Ah! My boy, for doing everything it is you did as far as the off-season trades and being a outlet that people can trust and no, you know they don't have to worry about things going from place to place or whatever the case may be. Um, shout out to John, shout out to Ann, shout out to Tristan, shout out to Brock, shout out to everybody that helps at the the table, everybody that helps. Um, who we missing? Shout out to Chris because he's always. Missing. I know who we missing. Who we missing? Shout out to the people in the concession stand. Shout, Shout out to concessions. Out. Shout out to concessions. Nachos, y'all step the y'all thing tacos, up. The popcorn, the, the burgers. The, the popcorn. That, you know that, that candy popcorn they be having? We call it crack. Oh, they be putting it at the scores table. Me, me and Vern be killing that See, popcorn, that's boy. Be, that's why I used to get mad. Shout out to Vern. Shout out to the referees. <laughs> like I said, I went to other leagues and saw them referee. You all are not as bad as I, I thought. <laughs> Y'all not and as bad. The lady referee, I love her. Love her to death. Mm-hmm. That's love my her. heart. That's my love heart. Her. Shout out to all the sponsors. Of K1. Shout out to all of them. Every sponsor. Kennedy Creations. <laughs> her cravings. Her, her, her taffy. Grapes. Kennedy's cravings. Yeah, Kennedy's cravings. Always taffy grapes. I definitely stay with them taffy grapes and them uh, the cheese. The cheese berries, for sure. Be fire. Maybe but I right, y'all get some five star wings one day. Five. I, they used. To, That's another story for off the camera. (laughs) All right, y'all. Y'all be smooth. Take it easy. We out.